fucking go. <clears throat> that should be good. What's up, everyone? Welcome up to the shake up. Woke up to the shake up. Jesus Christ, I got the worst intro. I got the worst intro. Look, luckily, no one's ever gets here early, so I don't have to improve. <laughs> the worst intro. I got a uh, golf stream and Tampa Bay. Except I don't have as much Tampa Bay as I thought I did. So we'll see. We'll see how much Tampa Bay I actually do. Just get all set up. Make sure this is right. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I look set up. Right. We'll just give it a few. Wait for some people to get here. Let's see. I'll get my shit. Oh, that's right. I thought about doing a fairgrounds card for tomorrow. Fuck, that card looked like dog shit. Let me, let me look at it. I downloaded it last night. I glanced at it. I was getting ready to mark it, and I kind of said, fuck it. We look at that card for tomorrow while while we we just wait in. What's up, JJ? What's up, man? Back again, huh? Here, let me tweet this out. Let me get my little Twitter or my little uh Twitter up there. What's up, C Money? It's hanging to the left, man. It's always hanging to the left. <laughs> You're doing good. Hopefully you're doing all right, C Money. Anyone excited about the Fairgrounds card tomorrow? I actually started uh, Tampa Bay because I looked at the card and it just looked like a bunch of maiden races and some uh, stakes races that may or may not be interesting. And you guys that have uh, been with me for the longest, you guys knew that, fuck, before I used to not even look at the stakes. I, I did not give two shits about the Derby for the longest time. I did not bow to temptation. And I played where I wanted to play, where I had the best chance to be a winner each day. So I'm not a hype train, but, you know, for the channel the last couple of years, you know, we we have been doing derby shows, Breeders' Cup shows, and actually handicapping really well. I just, I'm just not sure this uh this card is going to be all that appealing. What's up, Ren is due. Charles, how's it going, guys? Fairgrounds is uh supposed to get some weather today. So I noticed uh, some of the races were on turf, and that kind of turned me off, too, because... I've been doing the charts, and fuck, I, dude, I'm not even sure if they ran 10 races on that turf course this year. I'd be shocked if they ran 10 uh, races this year on the turf. Hold up, I'm going to look it up. Let's see, Fairgrounds Bias Report. I think I got it labeled as 222 it's because it started in the winter. Yeah, they started in November. They ran six routes. There is a bias there, and usually it's what I start off looking there. But after six races, I mean, it is fitting. Stalkers and closers, no one, not, not a single horse went wire to wire. I don't know if we really want to work. I, I mean, other than I know the last couple of years, it's been stockings and closers on the turf. Yeah, they, they haven't even ran 10 races yet on uh, both turf courses combined. Six on the routes, one on the sprint. 
So I'm not excited about that. Then I started glancing at this card. This, this, this first race might be okay. Made in special way. Just lightly raced maidens. Second race, same thing, except it's worse because we got more first-time starters. And you guys, you guys can't trust my word on first-time starters. I mean, I have no extra insight on first-time starters. So what? I, I, I don't see how that's a playable race for me with the way I look at racing. Third race is another maiden race. I mean, that one's better. That one is a little bit better. Then we got another uh, almost first-time starter race completely. So two, so two of the four first races are questionable. And the other two doesn't excite me. Then we got a turf race, and if C money's right, we might have weather. If we got weather, it gets scratched off. If they run it, we only got a surface where we've seen six races this year. That's not exactly track profile heaven. Come back to a crappy little maiden race. This one's not as bad, but you know, you don't get much from horses. You don't get much info when horses only ran one race over the track. That, that's that's a step up better, but it's not great. I don't know. I got and, then, and we got another maiden special weight race that's just straight up gonna be not playable for me. So why why do I want to feature this? Another turf race. We might have problems with the turf. I don't know. It's not a great looking card. And by the way, what what the hell does that uh is this no, that's not is this the Derby prep race right here? Nope, those are Phillies. So is this the first uh Ooh, and they're going to make me go to 7 o'clock? I was thinking about just staying on so I can have this race in the title. Fucking, but if, it, if they drag that on to 7 o'clock, fuck that. I don't get paid overtime. And I'm not going to get enough views to make it worthwhile. Fuck, I get fucking a two, three dollars for a thousand views. I won't get enough fucking views to pay me. Charles had a nice yesterday, uh, caught some nice tries, but Wednesday was all chalk. Yeah, I struggled. Uh, I had a bad Wednesday and a great. Uh... Yeah, see, money, they do got a 14 race card, which is sounds nice. It does sound nice, a 14 race card, but is it really a 14 race card where I might be chucking? Dude, I probably chalk, chucked already six of those races are probably already a no-go. <laughs> I don't know. I think about it. I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking about it. Attila, what's up, Attila? Austin, how's it going? Austin, oh no, Austin, were you here yesterday? Yesterday was not bad at Golf Stream. Fuck! We could have hit that 700 to 1 exacta. Fuck, I had the winner, and I fucking said the six horse was definitely playable at those odds, and then I kind of fucking forgot him. Joshua played him. Joshua uh, did play the six horse. None of us put it together. We had that seven horse that uh, won by a cunt hair, and we had the exact of some of us. I, I did. I, I actually had a big, huge bounce back day yesterday. The chalk exact of that I had, uh, uh, what, six to five over to 15 to one. I was shocked that it still paid 29 to one. I, was, I hammered that one pretty good. Yeah, no, uh, so so what happened was I looked at the six and I was like, this fucker can be played. There's no way he should be that. And then I looked and seen one of my favorite sprinters. 
New York, New York style or whatever his name is, New York Deli, New York style. And I go, wait a minute, this pace is going to be way too fast. And then I kind of forgot about him. And actually, we ran first and third in that exacta. And I knew the six was value. It's not, it's not like I couldn't have thrown him in there. Let's see what's up, Andre. Good luck to you, Andre. Yeah, the seven two exacto was really nice. What did that one pay? Like seventy one to one. That one, that one, I only had for five bucks. It was just exciting, dude. I well, I had a nice win bet on the seven, so I was geeked up on that. But I was actually pretty geeked up with only hitting that five dollar exacto. It was only an extra three hundred and fifty. But if you guys seen that photo, man. I went from just cheering, hoping that I got my head down for the win bet to realizing that I got an extra 350 on a fucking bet that I thought I could not have won. <laughs> that, that was just exciting. What's up, Bluekins here? Let's say, uh, see, Muddy, oh, smallish fields tomorrow, too. Yeah, they were kind of smallish fields. All right, but but we'll get we'll get started over here at Golf Stream. I thought I had everything done, and I was working on the weekend shit. And then when I sent my forms over, I got everything done at Golf Stream, but at Tampa Bay, I, I got some gaps there. I, I we'll see how I like Tampa Bay. But you guys know, I, I'm always gonna try to. I can't help but try to handicap the best I can. So. Try to fill in what we can and uh, what what I can't. It, it, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. But if you guys are new to the show, welcome, 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 welcome. And if you're, uh, you know, this is only your first or second show checking out. You know, I won't bullshit you. I only expect to hit uh about twenty percent of the races I like. But I will hit them at a prices that I will be profitable at the end of the year. It's just, it's just math. Once you know your hit rate, once you know what's reasonable. In fact, if handicapping Jesus dropped down from the cloud and said, hey, God, I'm going to let you cash 10% of your win bets. And on the races you like. If you can't figure out how to be a winner with that knowledge from handicapping Jesus, you do, you should get out of the game right now because you'll never catch on to what you need to win. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You're you're not equipped. You're not equipped. Uh you should be able to win with a team. Once you know your win percentage, it's just math. So if handicapping Jesus, I would just hold out. Okay, I'm going to hit 10% of my win tickets. All right, so what do I got to do? I got to wait for races that I really like horses at, uh, I don't know, 15 to 1 and higher? Why would I ever play a chalk? Because Jesus Christ, I would not want that to be one of my 10% winners. <laughs> All right, I'm, wait a minute. Are they on the turf today? They are on the turf today, right? I did not get the scratches. What's up, Vito? Joshua, zero. Rex, what's up, guys? I don't know. Is the seven worth fading? Well, here's the thing. Your best starting out, your best point starting out is always to be anti-chalk. Your your best spot is to poke a hole in my uh, belief. Unless you think he's an even money shot and he's an overlay at nine to five and you're pretty sure you're going to lock in nine to five. 
He's not good enough. It's going to be very hard to be a, a consistent winner. It might be he might be right for today, but uh, handicapping is a long term game. Horse racing, you got to play with a long term attitude. What might be right for today is not probably right for your long term game. I'm looking for speed and stalkers. There's a chance he comes from too far back too. But yeah, I don't got a problem. I don't have a problem with him if he wins. I got more of a problem if uh, you know, is the work risk the reward for something like him is my problem. I, I don't like horses, by the way. Let's see, one stretching out, trying turf. I don't know if I could take seven to two on a maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, maybe he'll benefit, uh, possibly get a speeder stalking trip possibly like the turf, possibly stretch out, possibly win the race. But with that many maybes, does this sound, it doesn't sound like seven to two is any good. Let's see, two, uh, three's a first time starter. I do no handicapping on three time, uh, first time starters. Uh, the only time I catch first time starters is when I think they're on a, like a biased track and they just fall on the rail or something. Let's see, five's lightly raced, only ran two races. I can't get excited about that. Would be hard for me to even know if he uh, should be nine to one after those two running lines. I'd say six horse is probably at least reasonable. Uh, four races ago, ran on an early pressing day with slow, 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 wrong running style. There's an excuse. That was that made in special way. He comes back, stalking uh, day was too far back. Excuse. He comes back, bad rail stalking day. He earned my best mark. A heart went too fast to win. That's a sign of life at the very least. And then he ran against the early pressing day was uh, a little far back. I mean, at least he's eight to fucking one. I, I can't really say if I think you're getting overpaid at eight to one. It sounds like you could be, but. Let's say seven, like I said, if seven wins here, I, if I'm poking holes at him, there's a chance he comes from too far back. But yeah, he, I mean, he looks fine. Speed figures probably say he's the winner. If you like speed figures, he, uh, Fairly close to getting in position. I already know this race is not for me. I'm sitting out this race. I, I see no upside in this race. What's up? Gas Station Sushi likes the nine here. Blue Maverick, huh? Five to one. Okay. What's up? And Forever. And Forever likes the nine also. Nine one seven. John Johnson likes to try. Yeah, so if you guys are new, I was kind of uh, talking about someone was asking if a horse could get beat. You know, I'm, I'm not a handicapper that really like horses. You shouldn't like horses. You should like bets. You, sh uh, you know, pardon me. But, you know, you're, you're off. Your, your, like, default position should automatically be skeptical of any chalk. It's it's so hard to win this game uh, getting low prices. Marco Lou, what's up, man? Sitting on your hand. Yeah, I'm with you on this one. I, I, I just don't have enough information that I think I could even do a betting line or... You know, this this race to me just screams with the way I handicap races that this should be a sit out. I guess if anyone's, well, I was going to say if anyone was tempting, it was going to be the one in the six, but not the one at two to one, not the one at two to one. It would be the six. Six is the horse that I, if I had to bet this race in a tournament or something, six would be my key. And that's probably the only way I have to bet a race is if it's in a tournament and it's a mandatory. 
What's up, Boulder? Hit the like and subscribe. What's up, man? Let's cash some tickets today. What's up, rent is due? Who else is here? Yeah, Seven's also making, uh, you know, he also he ran against winners before in a little stakes race. Other than that, there's a bunch of horses making the maiden special weight drop. I don't know if I look at a maiden special weight 50 any different than a maiden uh, special weight 127, though. Some tracks just overpay, and their structure is what it is. I, I don't, I don't honestly know how Woodbines is. If a track's a level, I kind of consider them all equal. You know, I, I will say like a B or C level track, you know, their maiden special weights aren't equal to an A level. What's up, Tom Higgins? What's up, man? All right, you guys got plays. Good luck. Oh, John Johnson was uh, asking if the seven's worth fading. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of that. Oh, depends. Depends, depends, depends. And honestly, that that is the difference between winning and losing. Really, you, really you're using your handicap to get to winning scenarios, and your skill is uh, finding winning scenarios that you can get to reasonably. And then your next skill is pricing. And then your next skill is making bets according to that fucking pricing. So, you know, so, you know, so it's really hard to say someone made a bad bet unless you just looked at tickets and just said that there's no overall upside. Like, I would say that the one and two are over bet, or I'm sorry, the one and seven are over bet to their chances because I'm thinking they're two to one at best. Where someone else might uh, have a bigger opinion where they think the horses should be three to five. And that would be an overlay. And the game is just betting overlays. So it's, it's very hard to like, if you're new, very hard to uh, tell someone what price they should be betting a horse. Because we all don't handicap the same. So that that's where the skill comes different. Oh, Boulder, uh, by the way, I I seen you sent me an email that said Disco. I think you were trying to communicate with Disco. I didn't, I didn't want to open it up because I didn't know if you guys were sending love letters or dick pics to each other. I didn't know what it is, but uh, I, I meant to tell you that next time I seen you. I seen it late. I probably should have just re uh, sent you another email saying you emailed me by accident. <laughs> but what's up, Boulder? <laughs> Let's see, is that gas station sushi's uh, nine on the lead? Not the fastest pace here. Not the slowest either. So I, I feel like right now this uh, pace is probably on the fair side. Seven looks lively, six looks lively, one looks there, and nine. So far, it looks like everyone got a fair shot. It just matters if they're going to get tired. Six is in nice position. I wouldn't be disappointed if I had the six right now. Is he going to change leads and get there? Seven's running well, one's running well. All right, 176, nothing really surprised me. The 1771 Exacta would not have been good enough for me. Six would have had to split them, and I'm not even sure if uh, that would have been a good Exacta. Well, 16 actually would have been an okay Exacta. Seven, six, one it have been. That one's 12, so 16 was paying twice the... Uh, Yeah, so it was kind of the big three there. I doubt it if one seven, that one, no, one seven's paying 13 to one. Lloyd with a boom. 
Dez, what's up, Dez? How's it going, man? Let's see. Yeah, Marco Lou says chalk. I agree. It's like, <laughs> it looks like Lloyd hit that. Run is due. Looks like he played the exact if that's an exact or a try. Oh, no, Michael, I don't have a video explaining my markings, but we can go over that. So the markings are just my short hair. Uh, short hair? The, the markings are just my shorthand over there. Uh, so when you hear me uh, read, when you, when you hear me reading and quickly going like four back, okay, let's just, let's just go to a horse. The six horse, when I say four races back, he ran on an early pressing day. That EP means speed and stalkers, early pressing day. That's exactly it. So I thought the bias was early pressing. If there's an X there, that's what I call an asterisk. It used to be an asterisk, but I realized I saved myself marking an extra line. So I call the X an asterisk. Anytime you see an asterisk, basically I think the horse had an excuse. He ran against the bias. Every once in a while I'll see like maybe the comment might catch my eye, but I trust my notes more. So it's usually a bias thing. So four races back, he was a closer that day. And then my circle, circle, circle is just when you hear me say slow, slow, slow is basically what I thought the where he was according to the pace. He was just too slow to win that day. And then, and then uh, so this is four races back. The lower right-hand corner is four races back. I usually start, start from four races back. The lower left is three races back. The top right is two races back. And the top right above the name is last race. So three races back, I got him running on a stalking day. Again, you see an asterisk. Just uh, I look at the asterisk. Yeah, he was a closer that day. Okay, he ran against the bias. So I got two races right there. So I can actually say, wow. See him running 68 to 76, all of a sudden his speed figures start going down? Well, most people will say, hey, he went off fucking form. I say, wait a minute, maybe he didn't go off form. Because I don't want to do most people. He ran against two bias, and lo and behold, he did not win, but he did improve greatly and ran a nice third at 11 to 1. I'm not a try player, but that could have been good information. So that race, I got a bad rail day. He had the seven hole. I had a stalking day. He was one length off the lead, so no asterisk. You know, he wasn't on the bad rail, and he wasn't uh, uh, on the front end or too far back. He just fit the profile that day. The hearts are my best uh, move. Whenever you see a heart, I expect horses to improve. The definition for a heart went too fast to win. You'll hear me say that a lot. Average, average. That's the eye-catching move. So ba basically, you're hearing me read the marks, it, it, but basically, it's just my uh, shorthand. Now, how I get them is a little bit different. So I chart races every day. I use my eyes and uh, experience and everything. I believe in biases, so I look for biases and stuff like that as a fault because I know what's good for me as a better. You know, I know what's responsible for huge days uh, in my experience of what's not. That's why I choose to uh, play this way. Uh, so I will be looking for trends all the time. So base, basically, you know, I, I keep these together. Uh, and what I have to do is obviously I got to look up each day to mark up these races. Uh, but I don't do any handicapping before the show. So I, I hope that helps, uh, Michael. And trust me, a lot of guys uh, start to pick up on what my notes are. They already know it. Uh, but hearts, uh, triangles are good. Average just means that on my winning profile for that day, he was just average. What's up, Kathy?
Jay, what's up, Jay? C.R. Reed, how's how's it going today? Oh. Oh fuck! Wait, I got two tracks. Okay, Tampa's uh doesn't look like it's any time. Relaxing music. How's it going, man? Yeah, I, I might have, I don't think I have a video. And see, I used to, I used to uh, promote them, but I wish that I uh, changed some things. Uh, and I want to erase the internet, but I'm, I'm never going to get that rabbit out the bag. <laughs> but, but Michael, that's, that's the God's honest truth. I, I was selling bias reports. And by the way, the show did not start with me having a product. I was doing a show for a couple years, and uh, the regulars kept asking me to sell them uh, my, basically my personal notes. But I kind of want them scrubbed. So when the few people stop buying them, we're done. We're done. I'm hiding them forever. <laughs> What's up, Michael Lester? What's up, Jared? Come, come on, Jared. You know that, Jared. I mean, fuck. I'm gonna have to reset your brain, dude. I I talk to you directly on the phone. You know this is all I do. Not you two. That for money. That's all I do. <laughs> Jared. Jared says, "Man, how do you play every day? Does your wife get mad?" Why, Jared? Does your wife get mad when you go go to work? Well, yeah, but you're gambling. I mean, not breaking the law, Jared. <laughs> I'm not breaking the law, Jared. I can't. I can't help it if uh, if uh, <laughs> I can make a, a reasonable living. <laughs> Jared, Jared, you ask that question every six months, man. And Jared, you've been watching for probably close to five years, and you've known I'm the only handicapper that ever, that hasn't ever came on and say, "Hey guys, we got to do something different today." I'm looking at fucking class or speed or fucking. I'm the I'm the, I've been consistent and doing it in front of your face for fucking five plus or five years. <laughs> I do, Tom. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, we got to reset that brain. We got to help you out, man. Paul was ahead of his time uh, working from home before all of you guys. Oh, uh, what's the unit size for the wind bats? It varies. I'm not the biggest better. I rarely bet more than $200 to win. Very rarely. Uh, play bets, my minimum play bet is uh, $20 to win. So my regular bets are, you know, more than that, but usually less than $200. I basically, for the most part, I play five, ten, and $20 gimmicks. I'm I'm not a big batter. Uh, you know, if I'm going after everything, you know, the more combinations. So, you know, a, a small bet, depending on what I'm doing, a play bet could have, uh, easily be $200. It could be less than $200. You know, if I'm doing multiple horses, uh, you know, a big bet, you know, could get four or five. And I, you know, just uh, going after I never, the last time I did a maximum bet, and I even scaled that one down, was on a 50 to 1 winner in a video probably about four years ago. And I have not, I think I've thought about doing a maximum bet twice since then. And I didn't fire either time, so I don't do maximum bets. Oh, 
Oh, uh, we've had, dude, many times on the stream, I've had 10,000 plus days uh, in a single race. I hit a pick six for 66,000, my first pick six I've ever hit out of uh, only two plays. Now, the way that I play, so there's a lot of times where I hit a $20 like exacta, but if I'm king the right two horses, you know, if I did a 2-5, two, 2-5, five, two, five, and let's just say I got this two horses and I played this for a $20 unit, you know, and it comes in 2-5, you know, a lot of guys get confused. They see the 2-5 there but they don't realize I got it backdoored too. So that would be a $40 hit. That, that's how sometimes I get up. But actually, I've been creeping up the unit size a little bit more, but I'm not like uh, that big of a better. Like my bets add up. I mean, my handle's pretty decent, but there's a lot of guys that handle way more than me. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even consider myself that big of a better. In fact, for, because uh, for years I shut down my bets when I get up. You know, that's, my handle uh, for a few years was going down. All right, Jared, yeah, Jared, you've been here for about four years. Yeah, but any times I, I say that's a Rolex hit or I'm having a Rolex day, basically I can walk into the dealership and spend 10 grand and walk out with a, well, actually you get put on the waiting list and maybe or maybe not you can walk out with a watch, but supposedly I can walk, walk out with a rot watch. <laughs> so whenever I say I'm having a Rolex day, basically I expect to have five or 10 Rolex days a year. Nothing special. A lot of days you're just trading money back and forth. Yeah, JW, but a uh, horse. See, the problem with it's the same thing that ITP says. The problem is if you're winning, how could you control me? How could you control a guy like ITP or a winning player? You can't. You can't control my mouth. Because here's the thing, I've already said fuck society, I already said I don't need a job, I'm not coming asking for a job, you go to most tracks, how, uh, other than like New York or Gulfstream or Saratoga or a big track, what can Finger Lakes play, play a fucking handicapper? 20 grand, 30 grand, 50 grand? 50 grand maybe? You think, you think they uh, pay their talent 50 grand? They, they, they can't they can't pay some they can't pay someone's good I heard the TVG guys only get paid 90 grand you think you could shut up someone that understands math for 90 grand and dude like like what is thistle downs playing paying their talent minimum wage I mean just like think like think about it if if they paid me a million dollars a year, I'd get I'd get my first I'd get my first 20 checks. And if they're giving me shit, it'd be like, well, I'm a gambler. It's just math. How much do I have to scale up my bets to make that? You know, as long as you don't hit as, as long as you don't hit your uh, betting threshold. As long as you don't hit your betting threshold, and, and you can just do that by, well, if I'm staked with 500000 because I took a year's pay, now I can, hang, I can hire two guys to do my data, a guy to mark my fucking form, and I can add another track that I can play all well. So I don't, so, so you can, so you don't actually have to scale up your bet. You either got to put more, more good bets in, or you got to scale up your bets, but Really, they couldn't they couldn't pay someone that's good what they're worth. 
That, that's like when you say Andy Sterling, like Andy Sterling, I've seen it in his interview. Well, I used to be a professional, but I hated my life and I needed this job. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait a minute. You want to go answer to someone. Look, I can disappear and no one would stop me from hitting a ticket ever. <laughs> I, I don't even understand what he's saying. Wait a minute. And, and that's what that uh, New York guy, that Steve or whatever, the one that does the picks. Well, I needed this job because it was, what the fuck are you talking about? Stressful? What the fuck are you talking about? That, that, that makes me don't believe their stories. I used to be a winner. I took this job for the safety. You're going to put up with shit? <laughs> I don't. I, I smell bullshit. But you, you, couldn't, you couldn't pay someone that was really good at this game. You, you couldn't pay them enough because all they'll be looking. Wait a minute. That's my bankroll. That's my fucking bankroll. TVG going to pay me 90000 a year and I got to fall in their floor mat, uh, format? Are you high? <laughs> Those track handy have to be handling significant. Yeah, but I know, but they can't. Because I'll, I'll tell you what, see, money. So here's the other thing. You hire me at a track, I will say, wait a minute, I'm sitting out races. Well, Paul, you can't sit out races. Well... You're going to have to get me someone to sit next to me and they'll be the douchebag that says that they got to pick for a first time starter race. I'm going to tell you where the math, basically you got to buy my show. You buy my show, I'll do your, you do your track and I'll improve your fucking handle. <laughs> and I don't want salary. I offered to do it for free. I'll do it for free for a year. I, I challenge any track. I want a percentage of the handle increase. That's it. You put me in front of fucking people. I'll teach people how to play where they last longer. I have no doubt your handle will go up. I have no, I have no doubt your handle will go up. Yeah, but yeah, but, but, but what I was saying about C money, I don't believe they're playing because someone that's good would have too much pride to look bad and talked about all the time. Like, if I'm a handicapper at, tw uh, at, uh, at, 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 what, what's a C-level track? Well, I mean, what's a regular B-level track? If I'm the, if, if I'm the guy at Laurel, how much do you think the guy at Laurel is getting paid? Seriously. <laughs> 40000 a year? I'm going to look bad for 40000 a year. Yeah, Matt Bariner was just a chick. He, he never even cut his teeth being a real handicapper. We've seen when he started. He, he was, he's just basically a hot chick hire. That's why, that's why I say when Dennis is, uh, or, you know, people are saying, hey, hire me in the industry, and people think I want a fucking job. No, no, I want to change the industry. You pay me to change the fucking industry, and I want points. I don't want a job. I got a job. I'm in the industry. The, the industry just doesn't know it. <laughs> they just don't know it. There's a big difference of uh, someone asking, hey, I'm a good handicapper. Please hire me. Please hire me. Please hire me to... Fuck, I'm going to talk shit about you. I'll say that uh, there's no such thing as executive as horse racing because how the fuck can't you hey, uh, sell vice? How can't you sell vice? Think about it. If you can't sell vice, there's no such thing as executive. That's like a drug dealer fucking not being able to unload coke. <laughs> a strip club not being able to sell lap dances. Horse racing is the only gambling product that... Uh, can't figure out how to get people to play the game. All right, I got a fucking handicap. I'm, I'm fucking done. <laughs> By the way, horse racing, take me up on that offer. I'll work for free. 
I'm already, I'm already doing this for free. Just give me a betting window. I'll, I'll do my bets. I'll work for free. But I, I got to do it from home. I do it from home. I'm not coming into your dump. But if I raise your hand, oh, I want 2% of the increase. Fuck off. Fuck off. Have, have some balls and hire someone that can uh, sell this shit. Now I'm going to have a terrible day, by the way. <laughs> All right, we're looking on the dirt. I need the dirt to be good, the inside of the track. I'm looking for mainly speed and stalkers towards the inside. Sit a two or the one three races go stalking closing day right running style match drives with the slowest winner average average comes back early pressing day not a sprinter so I I that's a complete throwout race but he he ran against the bias I got a couple one race samples where yeah four to one I'm not sure what I think of him. Two horse obviously looks good. I see he's the favorite three to two. Got the inside. <coughs> Sorry, got some speed. Four races ago, ran on an early pressing day. Average, average, average. Three races ago, match strides with the fastest winner. One tick slower than the fastest winner for the next two calls. That's a nice pace. Then he tried a couple of sprints. I, I think this horse is plenty fast. Last race, he ran against the inside early pressing day. Two should be the favorite here. Four got no speed. Or I'm sorry, three got no speed. Going to be on the inside, taking a bit of drop. Still four to one. I mean... I think right now I'm having a hard time just thinking the two get out of a first or second. You know, even a four to one on the eight to five is fucking probably not that great. Why is this not sliding over? Is this frozen? Yeah, even if the four to one wins... The one two is paying eleven dollars. The two one is paying nine. Let's see, it gets better if the three can get second. But not by much. Two three is paying fifteen to one. That's okay if you only like one combination, but once you start spreading a little bit more, it gets to be shit. Five's probably the biggest threat. Five to one. That race, uh, two back. Bad rail stalking closing day. Going too fast. The win is always a good thing. And then he runs against the inside bias. He had the inside, but the wrong running style there. Plus, that was a sprint. He's probably got a little bit more speed. Five would be the Best upside, but I'm, I'm to me, I'm looking at a race where I'm saying, hey, the best uh, upside is nine to two. Let's see. Poking holes in the chalk. How do I poke holes in them? Technically, all he did was break his maiden special weight. Probably not going to get any pace presence. So, I mean, he should be able to get... That's not even poking a hole. My my next spot's not even freaking... Dude, two's a coin flip to me. I, I And when I say coin flip, if you guys are new, it's 50% chance to win. Now, that's where I stop. Because betting chalk is bad. 
and trying to just, once a chalk looks like a chalk, they're just chalk. Like once I think a horse is the horse and he's a coin flip, like I don't have to, oh, he got a 60%, he got a 70%. Because I already know that I shouldn't be there. Like, like, why would you play a game with multiple outcomes in a race and think that getting less than even money is a fine? It's kind of the overall, so. I mean, this race just, this race just screams unplayable. Unless a 2-5 comes in or the 2-4, those might be okay, but. This is early of the day. I, I'm just out this race. I got no bet here. To me, it's not worth playing. And if they beat, if they beat the two, I couldn't really get around them. So you know, me thinking he's over bet actually saved me long term money, and that's good. What's up, Disco? What's up, man? Oh, Disco! I forgot to. Did wait a minute? Did, you said you had a new show with the jockeys, and I forgot to check it out. What's up, Airhan? Tampa, Tampa, I got. I'm gonna have blanks today, and I'm mostly interested in the uh, turf routes. <laughs> I can't even tell who that is. That one. Let's see, it looks like the four got scratched in the first race. Whoop, 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 don't do that, don't do that. All right, golf stream's off. It's more important for me to watch. Okay, two got the lead. Seven's out there with the two. Four's uh, getting in position. Three's riding up the rail, but farther back. Two got more pressure than I kind of thought here. Hey, this is golf stream. You, you need to be on the inside. We looked at the payout for the two, one, one, two. I think one two was paying like eleven dollars, but you get nine dollars just betting the fucking horse. All right, that that doesn't care. That doesn't cost me anything. Two would look good enough to keep me out of the race. I thought it was impossible for him to get out of first or second. Exacta creeps up and uh wow, the exacta actually creeped up. Paying 15 to 1 a little bit better, but a little bit better than I I'm pretty sure I looked at that and it was like nine or eight. I don't get excited over $15 exactas either. I Yeah, perfect trip on Ortiz. Nice, yeah, nice ride. If two gets beat, it's probably was going to be by the one or the three. Five, I thought, had a little bit of upside, but I don't think he ran at all. And he was the longest shot I was trying to get to. Seven probably got hurt being on the outside of the track. And I never even looked at the seven. I never even looked at the seven because my overall belief is the rail's so good on the dirt that I don't. Seven's where the pace came from, huh? Got a bunch of races that I, I track that I don't keep track of a one race sample and a, a just an average, average, average race. Let's see, Rennes do got a uh, small poof going. All right, let's see. I missed a 
Tampa's first race. Oh, we didn't miss anything at Tampa. $3 winner. $3 winner. I mean, that's probably the best Mark Torres in the race, right? Uh, three and three in this horse would have been three and five. How did they how did they bet that race though? Three was four to five, five was ten to one. I wonder if they probably already showed the replay. Got second there. I just uh always want to kind of see uh three seven four. Seven probably picked up pieces, I would guess. Is that a sprint? That's a sprint. That exacto paid five sixty. Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing there. All right, but now at least I know Tampa's running him. We we didn't miss any handicap in there, that's for sure. Charles got ni uh, 19 to 1 on that double. Nice, nice, nice. Javin, what's up, man? Some of the guys look like they got off to nice starts. Jared and uh, Charles. Who else got off to a nice start? I think Ren is due hit the first two races a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was, uh, oh, what I was saying about uh, Andy Sterling. So he got that contract and started working for New York. And I've seen on an interview, oh, I barely bet. But he used to make a, that, that, that's, what, that's what struck my ears like, wait a minute. I was a better. I made money betting. I don't give a fuck what my contract was. Let's see. Money and more money. Which one would you choose? Well, most people would go to more money. Why the fuck would you stop betting? I mean, you don't have to bet to, for a living. But if you had an edge and you understand what the game is, the game's fun, betting's fun. And if you're good, why would you ever stop? I don't I don't get why. You, it was such a weird statement to ever hear. Oh, the stress was too much. Wait, wait, you, you were winning and it was stressful? You got a contract and you stopped? You said you don't bet anymore almost? Shit, every time my wife needed a new watch or a new ring or a new fucking diamond pennant, it's like, hey, I'm going to go to the track and see if we get one for her today. <laughs> it, doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. I always listen to people to tell. I, I, I listen to people and listen to their actions to see if I believe people. What's up, Elaine? Happy Friday. Oh, Jevin, your horse, where, where's your horse running tomorrow? Another golf stream horse? Good luck tomorrow, man. Is, is, that, the, is that the winner that you uh, crushed and then the next race he uh, stepped up in class? Is it that one, the front speed uh, runner? That uh, in losing last race, I was uh, I was still pretty impressed with them. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Mo, uh, Mofo Joe. Yeah, yesterday was really fun. I mean, winning days are always fun. Oh, well, that, I heard he was a trader, so is he independently wealthy? Why did he have to go and uh, be a better then? 
Dude, I get so many fucking stories that clap. Maybe, maybe I don't know enough to talk about it, but it doesn't make sense what I hear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I heard exactly from his wife. He didn't, or not his wife, his, uh, his own interview. I, I'm not sure if I heard that because I think I heard that he was a stockbroker. It went bad. Then he started betting with Buyer and the boys, made a little name for himself, was a professional player, and then got thrown a bunch of money to uh, be a worker at uh, New York. And now he stops betting. That's that's what I heard the story was. And I heard he got a fairly big contract, but not big enough contract for I I hear he gets like 300 grand a year, very nice money. But that would be not that would not be enough to make me be like, "Hey, I don't want any more." <laughs> I'd be like, "Fuck." I don't know, I just, some things just don't make sense. Like, fuck, if you're winning at the game, I don't, I, dude. Unless I lose my mental facilities, I'm playing until I die. Ah, uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's just, yeah, but mofo really, it's, you know, I don't believe in being hot. I used to believe in being hot and and confident, but really, it's just when when you play tickets that move the bankroll and you're ahead of the math and you just consistently do that, you're gonna cycle into hits that are good. And it it just so happened that you know I did the same thing the day before, and you know none of the None of the results had any outcome. So, you know, I was guaranteed to be a loser the day before. And then the next day when all of a sudden there's uh, more prices and a little bit more spicy results, you know, I got, a, I got a shot to win and I got a shot to win a lot of money. Where, you know, if I would have took that shot and played the game where I can get crappy results, meaning payouts, you know, winning crappy payouts, Dude, I would have made enough money, you know, if I, if I won on Wednesday, I would have made enough money to bet the next two days. I sacrificed those type of days for a day like yesterday where I'm able to win for the next few weeks. You know, it's, it's, it's just math. It's just, it's, it's like what I said. Basically, you use your handicapping and your betting to become a, a casino. A casino offers only game that they have the match, math edge on. We get the math edge by our handicapping and sitting out. Casinos don't give a shit unless people are cheating if they lose on any given day. Or they lose on any particular table. Even when, even when they pay out a fucking million dollar jackpot. They know they kept their 2 or 3%. Oh, we kept our 2 or 3%. That took five years to fucking build. We made our money. All, all, all they want to do is make, you know, and basically that's what we're trying to do as a handicapper. Like any particular day should not matter. Just keep making good bets based on your opinion. And if you think you're doing that and you're still losing, your opinion probably sucks. And you got to improve a little bit on that or your pricing. All right, probably speeding stalkers over there at Tampa Bay. We'll give this second race a look.
Let's see. I hate route to sprint. It's always a thing of mine. I just absolutely hate it, and that's what this one horse is. Drop it in class. I guess that, that race two back is not bad. It was at a route. He ran against the stalking day. He tried to go wire to wire. His, the pace was average, average, average. You know, running against the bias is probably not a bad thing as long as I'm right that that was a bias. He looks like a front runner or speed uh, horse or, or front runner or stalker. And I know a lot of people like route to sprint. I just hate the angle. So I will admit my prejudices, and that's one prejudice that I have. I hate route to sprint. Can he win? Sure. Is he an overlay right now? Possibly. 14 to 1 is a, that almost sounds like a price that I wouldn't have. I wouldn't argue with someone, I, I think, at that price with him. I, I don't like it. He's not for me, but it's not like I would really dig in either way. Two horse, bad rail, stalking day, uh, three back. That should a uh, stalking closing day. So he really had no excuse. He was a little slow, average, average. Eh. Comes back, drops in class. That's a pretty big drop from 20, 25,000 to 8,000. His pace was good. Matt strides with the fastest winner, average at the uh, six furlong mark. Just missed. That's not a bad race, but he, he did go a little bit below this level. And last race was just kind of average, average, average again at this level where he won. So he, he ran a good race, and then he took a step forward, and now he's stepping, trying to work his way up in class. I mean, three races ago, he was against better. He got the last couple races, he's been running pretty much with the right running style. Three looks like route to sprint. Broke his maiden at the basement at Gostrom. Ah, I'm not that excited, I don't think, for him. Nine to two. I'd say nine to two probably doesn't feel like I'm getting overpaid there. I'd say five got the right running style. Four races ago went too fast to win. Got his bump and speed figures. Technically, well, truthfully, he has not won since earning those hearts within three races. Been hitting the board, collecting check, been maintaining a decent uh, speed figure against uh, maybe a little bit lesser. Well, Woodbine does this. I'm, I'm not sure that how the class match up. This is probably an okay. This is probably like a equal moving class, I would guess. So he went too fast to win. Next race, one tick slower than the fastest winner. Average, average, just missed. Two races ago, match uh, one tick slower than the fastest winner. And last race, bad rail, early pressing day. This race could be sneaky good. I did not give him an asterisk because he started in the four hole. And I just trust my notes. I go by post positions a lot of times without watching the replay. If this horse was on the rail... That could be an exceptional race on the five. Six got speed, but been off years. Let's see. I can't get to him if he wins. Uh, uh, congratulations. At least he's a huge price. I mean, had the right running style years ago. Probably could have been a contender, but, you know, he, he did not sit off years waiting for this spot. Wow, there's a lot of speed in this race now that I'm getting through it. Let's see, the seven ran on a bad rail last race. There's some upside on his front speed. And shit, eight's been going too fast to win, dropping in class. Eight, I think this is a health thing. You're, you're betting on the uh, health of eight. If eight is dropping for the win and it's not a health reason, he's probably the, the speed of the speed. If it's a health reason he's dropping for, you know, that, that's where I think he gets beat. And we won't know until after the race. I, 
I'm going to give him the maximum points that I can give him. He's a 50% chance to me. Boy, he's interesting because if he's beatable and he's uh, able to show enough speed, he probably kills all the other speed. The horses that will benefit would be the one, two, three. I don't know if I can continue this betting line. or This is a sit-out race for me. I, I, the eight is like the two last race. I, you know, it's, it's almost like you're sitting there and you think the guy got a, a pair of aces at the poker table. I don't know it's a pair of aces, but I'm convinced by the way he's betting it and I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not I'm not chasing. Two would benefit, but two's barely a pay raise at two to one. One, I will say one's probably an overlay at that price a little bit. I got a feeling this pace could be fast. Dude, I probably think it's, I probably actually think it looks kind of like where it is right now. Just 13%, 13%. I got a couple throw out. That's 120. That's basically my betting line. So I do think one's an overlay. I think two and three are a little uh, over bet. Five's technically an overlay, but he might go down. He's only like a point and a half over. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. I got I to gotta look at the seven one more time. Seven would be a... Seven's a big, the biggest overlay that I think I can reasonably get to, but in my head, if eight's right, seven's probably going to lead. So seven's winning condition would be eight's completely wrong, bad, unhealthy, doesn't even run for more than a quarter or a half, and seven gets the lead. I think it's still kind of far-fetched for me to bet them. Yeah, I got I got no bet there. The eight the the the, the eight just keeps me out of this race. We'll get over to Golf Stream, see what we got there. Anyone got some play? Oh, big uh, big double over there, Disco. Look, I definitely don't want to waste too much time. Let's see, we got a Tapita Sprint. Nice, cheap races is what I love. Uh, Speed and Stalker is what I'm generally looking for. What double do you, do you got a double going or are you starting a double here? Disco. Oh, next race is a maiden. First time starter. So I know you've been having a first time starter kick. Let's see, this is a basement. Let's see. One's making a, I'm looking for speed and stalkers. One's making a pretty big drop. Doesn't have the, I don't got great marks on him, but the drop is pretty good and he got the right running style. I just got him as being average, slow, slow, one race sample and just slow, slow, slow. But this race with him being slow, slow, slow and being only one length off the lead, 
That also tells me that he chased the slowest pace of the day. And that could be a, actually a sneaky good race against better. I don't hate him. We'll just have to see what else is here. Two is off a year. Comes back. Goes too fast to win. Then he comes back in a one race sample at the basement. Well, this is, I mean, this is a good race. He could have, uh, he did come off a year layoff, so he could have uh, needed that second race. That was a fast pace. Let's see, three's dropping, but is he dropping or uh, running at that, uh, at those tracks? No, he's dropping from maiden special weight, but is, are those real maiden special weights? I hate one race samples. Let's see. Uh, the four horse. That's a nice race too. Back inside early pressing day. Match drives with the fastest winner. One tick slower than the fastest winner average. Yeah, eight eight one at Tampa Bay. Eight two. Okay, I I can't. You know, sitting out's a skill. Sitting out's just a skill. I mean, could have. I think I could have hit every fucking race today, but why? There's actually some interesting ways to go here. Seven's the favorite. I hate route to spread. Uh, I uh, I don't know where I'm gonna end up. But when I know I'm not uh, interested in the favorite, and the favorite will not be on my ticket, there's almost nothing I can get to that's too bad. Wow, this is overall a weak field. What? Ten's making some big drops. Ran against the inside bias uh, last race. Ran against the inside bias two races ago. Ran against early prep. I'm just not sure what he is. That's a big drop. Ten's interesting. Four to one's not bad, but I'd probably say four to one in this field is probably uh, equal pay. It's probably where it should be. Nine's interesting at six to one. I really like the marks on the nine. Went too fast to win. Nine six to one. I'd probably say I think the nine should be at about four to one. So I think the nine does represent a little bit of value. Let's say five can win, but three to one is not tempting in a field like this for me. Ah, four is still tempting, but I, you know what? I got a feeling there's like. I need the one or the two. I think one and two are the highest prices I can think I can reason. And I might be reaching on the two. I'm probably reaching on the two. It's not bad to reach, though. See, the one in the fives coming out of the same race, that was the slowest pace of the day. See, I got squares that the one had the, or the five had the lead and was dueling on the lead and earned squares. I think one's the highest price I could get to. I'm definitely against the seven. 
I'm, I'm just going to do a quick win bet because they are loading in the gate on the one and the nine. I can't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get too creative here. And I'm going to do exact the box 149. I'm obviously doing that in my uh, lower, lower betting range, though. Kind of needed a few more uh, minutes with this race. One and nine to win. I even think if it comes in 4-9 or 9-4, that should pay enough to move a bankroll. If the one splits them. If I wanted to go after this race more, I would use the 2, the 5. Probably, I would probably just add the 2 and the 5 there. Maybe the 10, depending on what the 10 is at. And nines, I think, a little bit too far back. Three gets a wow, three got the lead. I thought nine could have got the lead. Man, I know this race. This race is gonna pay boxcars, I think. That's why I was forced to play it. Soon as you soon as you soon as I hated the favorite, I was like, this race can pay. Three was just the fastest early. Two's caught now. Nah, no one's really coming fast enough. Ten might be the only hope to beat them. Ten three, I think that came in. Ten three four. Dude, there was like nothing you could do wrong as soon as you realized that. Well, I mean, other than not hitting the ticket, like. There was no way this seven should have been bet that much. Oh, he did go up. He did go up in odds, so he did not end up being the favorite. I thought he stayed the favorite. Ten made a bit of a sense. Ran against a whole bunch of things. I, that that was a horse that I said has a bunch of excuses. Not sure if he had front speed. The front speed did not matter because he came off the pace. But who the hell is a three? I did not have the three on the lead. Oh, that's the... Yeah, three is quick, but that's a bunch of sea level racing. That's a bunch of sea level racing right there. Let's see, Attila got the 10. He'll take it. Yeah, three did hold three held on. So this uh, ends up being a decent ticket. Try, try, uh, try an exact has gotta be okay. What's up, El Marco? What's up, man? Buy stocks, how it's going? Daddy, how's it going, man? Oh, Disco, you like that 11 there. I don't think I cared for the 11. I don't remember who the 11 was. Probably thought he had some speed. I thought 9 could have got the lead. In fact, nine ran like shit. Nine had nine had that big recent class drop. Nine nine is my be best marked horse. Oh, now I'm realizing that he earned them in uh Indiana parks though. He's still the best marked horse. Six seven to one. I I would have bet him again. I I would have bet him again. One, the class drop isn't helping him. Yeah, 
He had Gracie, the the Grace Candy, the three horse was the reason to be in that race. Couldn't get to him. The only race I could have looked up is this uh, September 3rd at Indiana, and I probably know. I, dude, unless those are hearts, I don't know if I could have been convinced on him at all. Like, as soon as I looked at the Maiden Special Weight uh, races, I was like, yeah, but are they really Maiden Special Weight races? Uh, Where's my Indiana shit? Indiana. I'm just, I'm just curious to what that... Uh, that would have been... Uh, September 7th would have been my only clue if that came up really good. I got that that was an early pressing day. 22 and 2. So he was one tick slower than the fastest winner. 46 and 1, 48 and a 1 is the next thing. So, yeah, that, that's not that good. I mean, one tick slower than the fastest winner, average, and then slow on an early pressing day. So, I mean, those, those marks aren't blowing me away. Might as well throw them in there, though, since I looked them up. One tick slower than the fastest winner, average slow. And I would have still said, yeah, and he goes to Mountaineer, gets the lead, falls apart. I got no respect for uh, Mountaineer in Canterbury. Or not Canterbury, Charles, Chucky Town. He ran good. He did run good, though. I think that's my first bet today, though. First bet today, a little play bet. So, all right. I was pretty far off there, though. Pretty far off. Courses that I thought might have had some value really didn't run. And I think I would have bet the nine again. If you, if you told me they were running this race again, I would probably get suckered again on the nine. Let's say Marco Lewis says uh, a lot of uh, 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 mountaineer horses are uh, run, uh, running uh, at a... Uh, I can't even talk. Marco Lewis says a lot of mountaineer horses are running really well at other tracks. What other tracks? Like, 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 you know, like the, any major tracks? Oakland, Gulfstream, or New York. I guess those are the... They, they probably can run all right at Turfway Park. I'm trying to think of what's going right now. Speed's... Dude, sharp speed, no matter how cheap it is, speed is always a factor. Let's see, Airhand. What did Airhand get? Uh, 100 to 1 over there at Turkey. Nice. Oh, Elaine had the three and the one. So Elaine liked that uh, horse a bit. Three and one. Nice job on the three, especially. Nice, nice. Uh, I mean, that, that horse definitely gave you a chance to win something. Grandma, how's it going? Grandma got a, a Oakland play over there. Let's see. What happened over there at uh, Tampa? I'm pretty sure the eight. I'm pretty sure I've seen the eight win. Right, it was the eight that I thought was the, it was the outside horse, whoever it was. Second race. Oh, I got golf stream for him. That's why it doesn't make sense. Let's see, we'll look at it. Oh, they they just ran a five to one exacta for a dollar and a four dollar exacta. Dude, when you start seeing results like that, you just gotta do the horse prayers prayer. And I am not joking. 
Please stiff some goddamn horses today for me, please. I'd rather you cheat than run nothing but four and five dollar exactas. I got a shot if you cheat. I don't have a shot if you run four and five dollar exactas. <laughs> People think that cheating in horse racing is why they lose. Silly people. Please cheat. God, I mean, I mean, that's like looking at bank interest. If five to one, what, what did that double pay? Lord Jesus, cover your eyes. What, what, did, what did this, uh, Look at that double pay. Holy shit. $3.75 for the uh, trifecta. Dude, and people play that. Dude, horse players got nothing. Dude, when you find yourself going to the window and your structure is to get a $3.75 trifecta, just please do yourself a favor. Just please, just sit down. Control yourself. Just... Just fucking control yourself. Dude, like in that 20 minutes waiting for that race, you could have probably picked up enough bottles to cash back to get that ticket. Oh my God. And horse players are the first to say they can't win at this game. I, w I wonder why. I wonder why. There was enough people that said, hey, give me that trifecta. Give me that trifecta. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, no, I, I got to see what the pools was. How, how much did they bet into a $3.75 trifecta? Did they tell me the tri pools? 50000 dollars came into that pool. $50,000 went in a pool where they said, okay, take out my 25%. This is my edge. It's a good idea to be a horse player on a Friday. Dude, I'm sorry. If you guys are new to the show, I am sorry. But, you know, some, some people just deserve to lose in this game. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm going off today for some reason, but uh, but please listen to what I'm saying because it's packed in love. If I sound like I'm being a prick, trust me, it's in love. It's all love right there. It's all love. It's not the right thing to do. I don't care if you had that trifecta for $100. It's wrong. And if you think it's right, keep play, please play in the pools that I play if you think it's right. <laughs> new, new, Mark will lose to the show. <laughs> that I don't believe. I, that I know is true. Dude, I've been, I've been a little rant heavy today. I got, dude, it, dude the results are just, I mean, come on. We're supposed to beat up on that kind of behavior. We are supposed to beat up on that kind of behavior. That is so bad. Okay, we do got a turf route race. Let's see. I got to find out which track is going off first. Let's see. Tampa Bay looks first. Stalkers and closers. Yeah, I sound like an asshole if you guys are new, and I sound conceited as fuck. I know it. I know sometimes I can be hard to listen to. But trust me, if you listen to what I'm saying, it's for the love of the player. It's for you guys getting better without me. I'm not trying to sell you shit. I'm not trying to say follow me to get better. 
uh, but you're going to have to pay me. I am giving you little tidbits that you should be saying, wow, why is he saying a winning ticket's bad? Why would he rather lose than hit that ticket? The one I'm just not sure what he is. He he's probably coming off the pace that might help, but I'm I'm, I'm not sure how confident I am that I'm going to get the right running style. He he's overall blah to me. He says he's a nice price at eleven to one. Having a little trouble with the one. Broke his maiden at 16, stepped up to a little bit higher of a level, dropping. What well, does a horse get credit for just dropping up to running with the higher class and not doing? I'm not sure what I think of him. I'm really not. I just got him uh, two races ago, early pressing day. He fit the track that day. Came a little bit off the uh, uh, pace. Average, average. Matt Stride with the slowest winner, which he was. Nothing's wrong with that. Next race, stalking day. He was pretty much a stalker that day. Average, average, average. Kind of survived to finish fourth. I, I, I'm not sure what I really think of him. Six, stretching out, trying turf for the first time. I don't do anything with breeding, I'm, so I don't know, you know, if this horse has breeding, but... To me, the way I'm looking at the running lines, a sprinter stretching out, to me, probably is going to be speed. May not be able to handle all the stretch out. And I know generally going to lead is bad. I, I'm guessing that's what he's going to do. I could be wrong. Don't have any clue if he's going to handle the turf. Why would I be? Why would I take three to one? He can win, but I just can't get there at that price. I mean, two, last race wasn't bad. It was an early pressing day. One tick slower than the fastest winner. Average slow, so I thought the pace was uh, at least on the faster side for a sprint. That's why I'm thinking he goes to the lead here. Let's see. You got the three horse stretching out. Looks even more likely to get the lead. The only difference between him and the three is, uh, or three and the two is three uh, got some better marks. Ran against the bad rail two races back, and last race went too fast to win. And, and, you know, he got a little bit better marks, and to me he's a more appealing price if I wanted to go front end. I'll say four and five. I mean, four was a sprinter, but when he was sprinting, he was coming off the pace. He did try to get the uh, turf. I mean, he came from two lengths off. That fits. He went too uh, too fast to win three races ago while route really while while sprinting. He went too fast to win while coming off the pace. That's kind of an un uncommon race at 62,000. I think four might have a little bit of upside. Five, five at least been the distance a couple times. One at Delaware. I don't know if I can give him credit for that. Someone's going to have to come off the pace. Let's see. Six is another horse stretching out. I was going to say this seven is probably the safest horse to think someone might come off the pace. But as soon as I seen seven to five, I'm like, who cares about safe? No, I, I, this race. Four or five are like the only two spots I think I, oh no. Wait a minute, I forgot about the one. One one could come off the pace, too.
I'm making my uh, betting line like I just think speed is the devil. Let me just see if I can uh, just do a math play here. I'm not even sure. I think seven should, uh, let's see. What is seven's edge over the other horses? Just that he ran at this distance and came off the pace a couple of times and he'd been on the turf before. Not the, he's he's honestly not the scariest looking favorite. He's over bet no matter what number I put there. But I think I can just work with twenty two percent on all the horses that I think could benefit. So seven would just be over bet right now. Six is a little bit over overlay. I need seven to two on anything to bet. Five would be still an overlay. Four would be an overlay. And one. I'm, I'm going to fuck around and find out here. It, it will be in my uh, small bets category, I, I think. Well, that, that exactly can't be bad. Let's see, if I think I got 66% chance to win this race, roughly. Boy, I got to get a lot less than even money. Let's see, for every six bucks I bet. What's the worst outcome? A 7-1 winning? Let's see, if that stays there, the worst outcome for every six bucks getting that. Technically, that's a good bet if the odds stay there. Because I'm supposed to be getting a lot less than even money. I can I, I can bet all three horses to win. And I'm so far ahead of the math unless there's a big drop. I want to do that. I'm going to do the three horse exact to box. I'm thinking about the win ticket and how much I want to do that. And if I want to go three or just two. If I go two, I got a 44% chance to win and I got to get better than three to two. And that would be 16 for every four. Four, eight, 12, 16. So I turn a... Uh, for a three to two proposition into a three to one proposition, yes, I'm ahead of the fucking math. Still not sure. I'm still not sure which way. I'm, I'm boxing that exact to box though. Who do I? Do I like any two better than a single? I think I'm going to go all three of them. Now I just got to sweat the uh, if there's a big drop that makes that bet not good. What did I do? One, four, five to win. I bet them all the same. Oh, shit, shit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I fucking around too here? I might be messing around too long here.
Kathy got a hit. Money bags over there. What's up, John? <laughs> Every time Paul says inside bias, take a shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get I get pretty re repetitive. <laughs> I get pretty re repetitive, especially especially if you've been here for all five years. It's like Jesus Christ. Bias, bias, bias till my fucking ear bleeds. Hey, get you outside of the box. I'm looking for speed and stalkers over there at a... Uh... Golf stream, and I'm going to have to get the tic-tac-toe board going. Let's see. We got kind of a lightly race. Another turf race. And this is just kind of as bad. You know what? I got a pretty severe, like, uh, loose call over here at uh, Tampa. You know, a play bet that I basically don't have much of an opinion in that I played. I don't know if I want to have two of them going. I'm, I think I'm just going back over to Tampa to root my shit home. Come on, four. Ah, three got a pretty big lead. No one's really coming. Five's trying to gear up. Okay, they're not at the gap yet. Does five got enough move? I need five to win. Oh. Wow, they got to that finish line fast. Uh, so three did go wire to wire. Three went wire to wire at a nice price. And three's good enough to beat me. Let's see, and that bet did not stay good. I'm glad I didn't uh, bet more than the minimum. Holy shit, how did all three of my horses drop in half? Are, are the computer boys listening? To, how, the, how the hell did every horse I bet drop in half? By the way, if you hate the computers, you got to ask yourself, if there's more than one computer, how the hell can they do math on their bets? Because their goal is to bet their scenarios down to where they think they remain profitable and not over bet. Three is the best marked horse in a race, so... But I'm against speed. He was a sprinter stretching out. He did earn a heart. Hearts are my best marks year in and year out. God, he's a nice price on a heart horse, too. Dude, that's going to be a... Oh, they were betting the seven. Oh, so seven did go up from... Well, he went up from seven to five. Oh, did they just up the pay rebates? That's why the payouts keep getting worse and worse. They need to take those rebates away and give uh, everyone a point, uh, takeout reduction. But uh, really, I did have a thought that seven didn't really have an advantage to be seven to five there. Five was the only horse that uh, closed. All right, they won. They won wire to wire and got me. Let's see. The pace. The pace was decent. All right. One didn't run. Four got four, but I don't think he was ever threatening. Uh, 
Now, did they get did they get rid of the uh, computers over there, or did they just make them to where they can uh they 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 got a bet earlier in New York disco, or did they kick them out and said they they don't have the access? Just remember that, yeah, they got them. But the thing is, so the rebate players are uh, able to gain advantages. But that that's probably short-term uh, thinking. Because if they gave everyone a rebate, If they just cut their prices, they could uh, possibly get more people in the game. It might be short-sighted. Like, yes, the uh, the rebates guys handle so much more money than an average person. I get that. But you know how to fix all of horse racing's problems? Get more people to play. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a two-minute uh, speed bump over there so you don't get to slam them. Like, really, you want to get you want to get rid of uh, you want to get rid of uh, people that don't like horse racing. You want to get rid of uh, everything, right? Every complaint in horse racing. Turn horse racing into the number one pastime instead of football or whatever it is, right? Right. When people are talking it in a bar, they'll silence PETA and everything. No one would give a shit. No one would be worried about that, animal rights people, if everyone's playing the game, right? No one would be early or worried about odds drops because, you know, you don't get odds drops on Kentucky Derby Day because the bulls are so fucking big. It literally fits every uh, problem in the game is raising take, or not raising takeout, is uh, getting more people to play. Yet horse racing cannot sell a vice. <laughs> like, think about it. They cannot sell a vice. Yeah, I didn't think this was a great uh, costume race here. Six two eight. Oh, and the results bear that out with the six being even money. He only ran one race before, <laughs> ran against the early pressing day, would have got an excuse. That's a nice race. Would have had no problem with him winning the race. Would have probably said that I was looking for speed and stalkers and he could be coming from farther back. I'd be curious to see how they ran that race. I, I know six came a little bit off the pace, but he, or he might've came a lot. I just know he came off the pace. But I also would have said it's dangerous to put him in a closing position, but I would be trying to beat that horse. Eight's, eight's a speed horse stretching out. Eh. I glanced at this race and I said I didn't want uh, two races that were kind of the same uh, guessing races. Oh, I would have said taking a year off tour. Oh, wow. They bet the two down to seven to two. He didn't run second. He did run second, but I would have said you're insane for taking him at seven to two. Okay, insane uh, ran well. One horse was coming. I'm just uh, glancing and just seeing what I thought. One horse uh, was coming off some nice races. One tick slower than the fastest winner. Average, average on the front end. I, I would have been looking for speed and stalkers. It's also closed on the turf right there at a lower level track. 
And then last race, stocking, closing day, one tick. I might have went that direction trying to get the one to do something. One ran four. But my first thought was that I played the race at Tampa. That wasn't a great race for me. That I did not want to play another race that was not great. Had a bunch of horses stretching out, trying to surf. The, oh, you even had a West Coast horse there. First time start. Yeah, a lot of mysteries. The more mysteries you get, you. I, I always like to feel like, I know Gas, Gas Station says he likes the unknown races. I like, I prefer races with as many, uh, with feeling I know all the knowns as much as you possibly could. Like, he likes the chaos of uh, first-time starters and that kind of shit, shippers. Let's see, Charles is still alive in the pick five. Good luck, Charles. Oh, you're in the payout leg. I don't know how good that is. Wait a minute. Let's see. Has Gostream been chalky today? Wait, Tampa's been extremely chalky today. Has Gostream? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, you had the 10 horse, uh, three to one. Oh, you, yeah, uh, Gostream has not been, uh, too bad. What, am I just not seeing plays at Gostream? I might just not be seeing plays. Yeah, the first race, it was a bad exacta. Wait, right? First, wait, first race. Yeah, the 1 7 exacta paid 13 to 1. All right. But one actually paid a 7. Oh, I thought that was 960, 760. Second race paid 980 on the one. I stayed out of that race because I thought the two was either going to get first or second. Okay. I thought the two was either going to get first and second. I thought if the one won, I checked that exact. Uh, that went up from 15 to or to 15 to one, but not great. No bet. Oh, that's actually good for Charles. He bet it, he beat a pretty big chalk right there. $8 horse in the 10. Ten was a contender, but not one of the ones that was. I, I, I if I went for it, I would have used them more, but I did not have the three. And then this race was ten the fake. Ten wasn't even the fake. Oh, Charles, your your ticket might not be that bad, huh? Who did they bet in that race that the ten was there? Oh, 10 did end up being a 3-to-1 favorite, but they also bet the 5, the 7 down to 7-to-2, to the 4 down to 4-to-1. To Charles paid through. Oh, Charles, you can't do wrong then. You don't even care. Charles, you don't even care. He paid three dollars on his pick five. <laughs> it, it, it's pretty hard not to get a EV on a three dollar uh, pick five if you hit it. And you and you and you beat a couple favorites. Yeah, that that that's definitely not a you cannot have a bad ticket right now. Oh, here's gas. Yeah, unknown horses have first-time starters or horses that have not run previously at today's... Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I probably said shippers. My ROI in unknowns is 7% higher in uh, unknown over the last... Uh, yeah, okay. And last seven-year sample of 10,000 races, so you even know what your uh, percentage of uh, against them. 
Yeah, I, I prefer knowns or what I think are knowns. And Gas is a guy that uh, likes the unknowns. Like, there's no right or wrong. If you're good and you have advantages, you know where your advantages are. All right, we just need some results to heat up. Not, I think I only played two bets today, so or two races today. Wrong in both of them. Not, not a problem. Let me go to a restroom real quick. Kiki's going to be going pretty soon, too. I got to keep an ear out for her. late for Bentley's cookie break. All right, where we at? Well, I mean, hopefully we heat up something. Kathy says golf stream sucks. Let's see, Tampa should be going off first. Or did I play three races today? I'm not, I can't even keep up. It's been a slow day either way. No, I only played three races. Two races, two races. Yeah, two races. <coughs> All right, where we at? Fourth race. Uh, you know what? We got a nice field right here. Nine horses. By the way, I, I want to just check my betting line last race. What, what did that come in? Oh, it came in the three, and I was super – wow, I was really hard on the three because I thought uh, wire to wire. I thought going wire to wire was bad. Did Wait a minute. Did he even go wire to wire? I know he had the lead at the top of the strike. You know what? I'm not even positive he went wire to wire. Come to think of it, I think I was flipped over uh, – and missed the break there, aren't well, really. I'll have to get that on the results. Let's see, we got another sprint race, and uh, I'm going to have to do the tic-tac-toe board pretty soon. Let's see, we got the three being a, a decent favorite. Let's see if we can get around this guy. 
Let's see, four races go stalking, closing day, average slow, slow. That was a route. Comes back, runs a sprint race uh, three races ago. That was a speed favoring track. He just didn't have any speed. I gave him an asterisk, slow, slow, slow. So he got an excuse there. Speed figure goes up next race, bad rail, early pressing day. He had the right running style, and he should have been nowhere near that rail uh, coming from the nine hole. So that was his best race in a while, but did he run better because uh, there was an outside bias there? And then last race, early pressing day, really didn't break, really didn't run. I give him an asterisk for uh, not breaking, but I mean, I'm not blown away one way or another. I'm looking for speed and stalkers on the dirt for five and a half furlongs over there. Let's see the two, uh, three races ago, bad rail, stalking, closing day. That was a route, pretty ugly. If you don't have route and a speed, how do you have a route? Or if you don't have speed in a route, how can you have speed in a sprint? Let's see, two races ago, average. Wow, that was one tick slower than, oh, well, it was a route race. One tick slower than the fastest winner, slow. Last race was, I'd say, his best race ever. At least he was average, average there, but not like I'm excited. Let's see, three, only ran one race. You know what? He, he got a good excuse, and he ran a decent race. I got that that was a bad rail, early pressing day. So when I whenever I say bad rail, I mean bad inside. So he had the three hole. Probably was on the inside. I gave him an asterisk. And his pace was not bad. One tick slower than the fastest winner average. <laughs> Even money, it's like, well, why would I want that? But not bad. Four got a little bit of speed, but a lot of quit in him. Four might be interested. Uh, might be interesting if if the field's weak enough. Twenty to one is what makes him okay for me to uh, try to think to do anything. I, I do think he's still a long shot, but I do think twenty to one is uh, probably uh, more than what he should be. He did earn those hearts at a route. So he was going too fast to win routing. But notice after the heart, he runs his best speed figure ever. Four is it, four's at least interesting and uninteresting. Five's a first time starter. I got no story on him. Six, six ran a race. It was terrible. Put it this way. It'd be hard. Hard to be that bad two races in a row. I can't bet them. I can't get to them. But it would be hard to be that bad two races in a row. Seven's dropping in class. Fuck, I, you know, this field is so bad. He's 6-1. to one. I'm, I'm going to try to look up that November 4th race. Didn't realize I didn't have that race looked up. So, I mean, the field the field's so bad. He's dropping in class. That was an early pressing day. Holy shit. God, November 4th, part of his marks don't make sense. I don't know if I trust all of that. It could have been a day where the timer malfunctioned too, because I'm showing something different for second call. Oh, shit. You know what? What is the eight at? 
Eight's at three to one. Nine is the favorite. I probably don't have a problem. I probably look at nine, eight, seven like they're the same, or especially uh, <coughs> eight and nine like they're the same horse. Let's see. I need a hundred to one to get interested in him. One would play as a long shot. I probably don't think he uh probably don't think he's an overlay. They just scratched the three. Actually, I'm kind of glad they scratched the three because I was kind of trying to get there. I was trying to trying to talk myself into betting four a bit. Whoop, what did I do? I was trying to talk myself into betting the four. Let's see, the first time starter, I'm just going to give him 8%. I don't know if that's a good number or not. There's not much difference between the 7, 8, 9. I'd probably lean that the 8 probably deserves to be a little bit more than the favorite. Let me see where I end up here. So I'm agreeing with the board, uh, board pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty completely, almost dead on. Let's see, two ends up being the best thing I can get to as a better. I would need the two, the four, or the one to get first or second here. Let me see if I want to even do this. Let me look at these exact. Is there there may be a play here, there may not be. Them to the one's not bad, them to the four's not bad, them to the two's not bad. There's almost no difference. I probably think the two's most likely to get first or second. But I think I am going to, I'm going to key off the two and the four, but I, I think I might play the two for more money. Yeah, I almost want to add the one there. I think I know how I'm going to play it. I think the eight should be uh, the favorite in my head. I'm going to play this ticket for less and the ticket with the eight for more.
fact, I'm, I'm going to have to put the ticket with the eight in first, I think. So that's the one I want more. I, oh, I'll be able to get this in. Eight with the one, two, four. Then play this one for a smaller scale. Two and four, two, four, seven, eight, nine. I probably should have still added the one to this ticket. No win bets for me, no nothing. I still wanted to play this in my uh, playback category, and I still wanted to hit this exacta for uh, more. Seven, I got a mark here where I'm not sure this 48 and two is right. I'm hoping that the eight is the faster horse than the seven. Oh, and I'm wrong about that. Fuck, I'm really wrong about that. Well, now I need to get a better trip with the eight and the seven. Or, uh... Come on, four and two, keep chasing this. Come on, bring the four and two right now. Four and two can win this race. Come on, two, you big, beautiful bitch. Come on, two, get by him. Get by him, you motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go get by him, get by I'm not sure, but I'll take it. Oh, no, no, my I didn't call her the big beautiful bitch. <laughs> That's a nice hit, are you leaving now? Oh, okay. Anyway, that two gets his head down. I think they think the nine horse won. I think they think the nine horse won. No, they, they got the nine one or nine two. I did say I could have singled the two more than the four. And I forgot to do that. I'm pretty sure I thought that. To play the two more than the four, but I ended up playing them for the same amount. I'm not sure how good this ticket's going to be without the two winning. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be a huge hit. It'll, it'll be enough to probably put me up a bit. But if it comes in 2-9, I'm, I'm on a very nice hit again. Yeah, I got the 9 right here. Boop. So 9-2. This is box right here. This is box. Or not box. You know, it's key box. The 2 and 4 got to get first or second. Yeah, 27 to 1, it's not going to be like a big uh, hit. But if the 2 would have won, I would have got 70 to 1 back. And that would have played pretty decent. I, I probably, well, in hindsight, I probably should have just uh, did what I said first. Favor the 2 over the 4 and not do this ticket. Eh. It is what it is. Two gave me a run, gave me a position to make a lot more money, so I can't I can't be mad about that. All right, I hit my first ticket today. Not the biggest hit.
And eight did, and you know what? Eight did get third. I thought about leaving the seven. I kept, by the way, Gostrom, we got zero minutes. I don't have time to look up Gostrom. I actually, I actually want to fit, fix, fix my notes on your guys' time. I'm not, I'm not going to have time to uh, look at that race, I don't think. Okay, all the facts, are all the facts right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. November 4th. <laughs> I think they I think they retimed a race over there is what I think they did. Let's see, November fourth. First race. Look at this. Look at this. November 4th, first race. November 4th, first race. Winner is living in paradise and, and cloud storage. Living in par paradise, abbreviation, and cloud storage. So I'm in the right race. They got this horse's pace going 48 and 2, where the half won 46 and 3. They both agree that the first call was 22 and 3, but the second call was different. I knew I didn't trust that number. If I would have looked this up, I would have thrown out the 7, and my bet would have been a little bit better. For some reason, they went back and uh, retimed something. Oh, my God, did Kiki Love just win? Tell me that, wait a minute, tell me that's not a dirt race. Oh, fuck it, hey, I don't realize. Kiki loves run-ons on the dirt, and that's inside. He's telling me she's not a huge price. Kiki always, uh. Yeah, well, I mean, fuck. Could we could we have got there is the question. Could I have got there? Yeah, it's a dirt race. Post one, two, three is the most important thing. We've been betting Kiki's love a little bit. Oh my God, did they bet the three as the favorite or a route to sprint horse? Six would have looked scary, but on the outside, seven, seven would have looked scary too. I would have liked the three. I couldn't have got to the five. Who don't? Who I, I this is a race where I honestly don't know. Uh, Kiki had speed before, and she's been uh, stalking. She won on speed favoring track. Four to one. Four to one is my question. I know I wanted to like the three route to sprint, and when he was a. Uh, 
sprinting, she didn't have the fastest speed. Seven, I would have liked if uh, she was on the rail. But in seven hole, I wouldn't have liked her for the win. I'm wondering if I could have hit the exacta. I, I don't know. Six hundred is best marks at a route. I could see myself king off of Kiki. We'll never know. I'll never know what I would have done there. I, I honestly don't know. It all matters if I could have got the exacta there, I think. Let's say Charles with the boom. Charles, was that your pick five right there? Let's say Rick liked uh, I ride on Kiki Love. I know Keith, Kiki's a little asshole. She let I rad ride her, I guess. I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, my mother, my mother-in-law's here. I shouldn't make dirty jokes. Let's say Blair made uh, just one back collected now. Oh, Rick tried to give me the heads up. Yeah, I would have liked to look at it. I'm not sure if I would have had the exacta, though. And the exacta, I probably, four, I'm looking at her at four to one. I, I know I wanted to like the five. I know I wanted to like the three for the win. I, I wanted to like, to me, the one and two would not have been equal. Seven would have been one of those horses that on the inside I love, but in the seven hole, I'm and the exact only paying 20 to 1. I, I don't know what I would have done there. Let's see. PDT with a uh, pick three. <laughs> PDT says everyone had Kiki. <laughs> oh, I you got I uh, gas station says I read tax them because you would have got higher. Probably, yeah, people are always bet I rad. I'm trying to see if that's who uh, Charles was live. Oh, finally hit a nice job, Charles. Did that pay? That had to be decent. You be you, you didn't have any giant prices, but you had a bunch of uh, useful prices. You beat a couple big chalks. And I think you said you did a three dollar ticket, so I don't I don't think you could be uh, that far out of bounds for having a nice return. Let's say PDC says the pick three paid well. He oh you had a ten dollar pick three. Well done, twenty times. Larry got to go back to work. Let's see, three almost got second, but almost not good enough. <laughs> Charles throwing down the gauntlet. He he plays a three dollar uh pick pick uh pick five. Beat that, Blair. Blair, you got to beat that one over there. <laughs> That's a tough one to beat. A three dollar pick five. I'm still waiting to see the return. I don't know why they're not showing me the return on that yet. I'm guessing it paid, what, a couple hundred dollars for 50 cents at least? Maybe even four or five hundred dollars? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't play enough of them to know what you should be getting.
Oh, yeah, fuck it, 450 bucks. Oh, yeah, nice ticket, Charles. I, I, I don't know how you could have went wrong, but yeah, nice ticket. I don't know how you could go wrong at $3. You weren't like those guys I was talking about that was cheering for a $200 ticket getting a three to two back on their money. And I was like, I thought it was bad. I mean, they were having a fun time. They, they had a fun time. But I was like, wow, $300 uh, tickets to get back 500 bucks? There, there, there seems to be a lot easier ways than to hit a pick five. Let's see, Jay, yeah, Jay, head to head. Uh, now, now, Blair is very consistent on his tickets. What's up, Jeff D? Yeah, definitely nice, char nice job, Charles. Absolutely. Okay, how do you, how do you, uh, seven did get the lead and the inside, but you got to work hard to get it from the outside. Three had no speed. That's why I knew three was a bad favorite. Two got the trip. Five looks kind of scary here, but five's being forced to be a little bit wider. Three ducks back to the rail. Seven probably would have won that race if he started from anywhere where but the seven hole. <laughs> He's pretty tired, but you got to work hard. So if you're new to the show, I keep talking about this inside bias over there at Gulfstream. I got numbers to back it up, but really the theory is at Gulfstream, not every inside bias is all the way a circle around the track. I, I, I think the bias for the last three or four years has been on the backstretch there uh, for the sprints. I think horses that are saving position towards the inside are able to save energy and the outside horses are working way hard. So I really don't care about horses fanning out. Although I'm noticing that the uh, two, Kiki did get off the inside. But, you know, so I don't really care about them fanning wide at the top of the stretch and the outside horses getting to the inside. For, I've been explaining it for like the last three or four years that it feels like, especially on the sprints, that the bias is uh, you got to save, uh, you got to at least be on the inside in the, uh, on the back stretch. Oh shit, Charles! You cannot complain about a four hundred and fifty dollar uh, pick, pick five. Yeah, it was a chalky sequence, but it that I mean, as far as chalky six, I do it. I thought that could have paid a lot worse. Well done. You got you got a bunch of little like a lower mid range like lower medium price horses a seven to two a nine dollar horse a ten dollar horse you beat you beat a you beat a that two horse that that two horse was probably a big signal in the a single in the race that I sat out uh, what was that the second race. Some, sometimes you just got to know where the most people are taking a free square at. And when that free square doesn't work out, you, you know, even low price horses make it. And, and then that uh, 10 horse that won, there was about four horses all within a half a point. What's up, Yako? What's up, man? <laughs> oh, look at Yako saying that's the finishers at Aqueduct. Six, so you so the so you just got to be able to count from six down. <laughs> so, 
six five four three two one. That that's the that's the countdown bias right there, Yakko. <laughs> I mean, today's not that bad of a, I mean, as far as chalky days going, it's, it's, it doesn't feel like terrible bad, but hopefully we see some more, uh, I mean, it doesn't feel like yesterday's show either. Prices were all over the place. Oh yeah, the, the well the three horses. Yeah, the three horse was uh what the twenty five to one. All right, let's look at ten. Oh, we got another uh. <coughs> another uh Tampa turf race. This is a competitive race where there's no true favorite. A lot of people like races like that. I always think it's easier to beat one favorite than a group of short price horses. I used to say these were great betting races in a way I don't think they are. Always. Let's see, the one ran against the stalking track last race, tried to go wire to wire. I think that race could be better than what it looks, but I also have uh, been pretty anti-speed on the turf. But I will admit, I think that three horse in the third or second race went wire to wire. I, I'm looking that up, but that was a bad field, so I don't really know how I feel about that. So maybe that's an indicator that they could go wired to wired today, or maybe that field was just that bad. I'm I'm curious. I'm I'm going back and trying to look up Equine Base real fast. Yeah, he did go wire to wire, so I just wanted to make sure that that's what happened. Two horse could have the right running style. I say could because if you're new, judging closers to me is one of the hardest things to do in racing. And the way I tend to judge closers is uh, demanding that they consistently get within three lengths of the lead there at the top of the stretch, which he does not do a great job doing. But at the same time, uh, for most of his races, I don't think he's going to be on the lead. Three's coming from Delaware, so I don't have any marks on him. Probably comes from behind. Four's lightly raced, stalking, closing day. That's a nice run right there. Running with the bias. <sighs> Five, I'm not going to know what he is. God, in a way, I don't know what the six is either. Maybe going, I, I'm, I'm not sure. He was seven by one, probably trying to get the lead there. I'm not sure what the six is running style. I'm not sure if they know what he is yet. Seven's probably a front runner. Eight's probably a front runner. God, I wanted the, the, the Tampa, <coughs> Tampa turf races are the races that I want to be playing. <coughs> but in a way, as a handicapper, I got to kind of understand Who's leading and who's chasing? I got I gotta understand like more than is this even gonna be a fast pace here? All right. Sometimes when I'm completely uh confused about what's gonna happen, it's good for uh you to go and look at the uh chalk. Who are they betting? So they are betting the 10. 
And 10 will benefit if it's uh, the running style that I usually think it is. So I could agree that the 10 feels like a fairly safe play. I'm spitting on my screen. They're also betting the one. One, I think, probably going to be a front uh, runner, and I could be wrong about that. Three, I think three can be played. I think four can be played. I think 10 can be played. I'd be a little worried about a slow pace and someone being able to go wire to wire. Where was I at? Four, three, ten. Is, did I only have three horses? Four, three, ten. Four, three, ten. Don't think I got anything crazy here. Six, maybe, but six is a horse. I'm just not sure what he is. If he comes from behind, I think he can win. You know what? I'm not sure where I'm at this race, but the board just flipped to where I know where my bet is. I'm I'm willing to take the uh, ten and the three to win here. I probably think I didn't, I probably think uh I think both of them should be second choice. I think I can bet both of them to win. <clears throat> I'm still curious if I can bet the uh, exact the box. 10 4 is paying 29 to 1. 10 uh, 3 is paying 17 to 1. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do that, but the, I need the win bet more, I think. The win bet is uh, probably more important. I'll take the three, four, ten in a box there too. I think the way I get beat is if they just get a soft base and they go wire to wire. You know, this is a nice race on the seven here, but I don't trust him not to go to the lead here. Put seven on the lead because I don't want him to be able to run a nice off the pace race. Uh oh. No, they're going to try to come from behind. One did get the lead. Any of my horses in really good position? I need this t uh, 23 and 2. Hopefully that's fast enough to eliminate yourself. Mm, I need 4 or 3 to get interested. Where are my... Okay, here comes the 3. Oh, this looks bad for me. This looks bad. 
Three, you can use your whip now because if you're not within three, you can't close from there. Come on. Oh, no, that's a nine. I thought that was a three that made that darting move. Maybe they're going to go wire to wire again. Oh, they, are they going to go wire to wire two races in a row? Mmm, they did go wire to wire two races. All right. That, that's kind of a surprise. Now I got to think, do I want to keep playing on the turf routes right now? Now I got to acknowledge that they did go wire to wire twice. Not only did the one go wire to wire, everyone that was up there stayed up there. So I got I got to kind of think if I want to keep banging my head against something that might not be there today. Yeah, it was four nine six all the way around. I think four six nine something or no one six nine. Yeah, for them to go for them to go wire to wire in two races, I definitely got to rethink. Ten had absolutely nothing. Three, I mean, three tried, but uh, no one got tired up front. And I'm not sure if I ever seen four. You know what? I got, I, I, uh, wow. Well, I, I did not, I, uh, I should have realized where I was at the four, though. Four only ran one race. Started at the bottom. Oh, I, I, oh. And by the way, that's the wrong win bet. I didn't bet the 10 in the three. I bet the four in the three. But that exact box I did. Yeah, I, I, and the other thing I could do is, if, is there another turf route race? There's one more. The turf sprint, but I don't play turf sprints there. So there's one more. I could avoid it because it's not doing what it usually does. I can make an adjustment and play for speed. A lot of times, I don't like doing that after only getting beat twice. I don't know if I'm going to mess with the next one. We'll see. Oh, and don't get... Oh, wow. Wow, and I messed... Uh, all right, golf streaming. Uh, shit. Well, I'm not going to have any time here on the turf. Was it 50,000? Oh my God, I'm getting tired and cold. Got a bunch of hard horses. I 
to say five. Oh no, six is scratched. Lots of horse, uh, hard horses. Oh, uh, you got a horse that's been uh, coming out some graded races. You know what? I'm not sure I would have liked this race. Twenty-five to one on the front end. That sounds slow. That sounds slow. Well, if you played this uh, four horse, don't you got to be at least be pretty happy with the pace so far. They sped it up at the half, but I mean, shit, he should have horse. I don't know. To me, to me, it's going to be hard as hell to beat the four. I, I don't know. I, w I would not have seen this pace coming, I don't think. He's quickening. He's doing everything right. It's just a matter of someone's going to quicken faster than him, and I, I don't think they got him. They're trying. They're getting a fair run, but four's gone. Now, I did notice that there was a lot of heart horses, but did they earn their cells? You know, you can earn hearts different ways. Usually hearts are a sign of speed. Let's see, three races back, how did he earn hearts? Oh, that was at Laurel, and that was off the pace. So he is not a front runner. Two, uh, three earned his on the front end. And he's a front runner. So he, he would have been a front runner. He, you would have, I would have had to worry about him. Four is definitely a front runner. Ran on a bad rail against the bias. Two back comes right back. Also make it a pretty big class drop there. Let's see. Five was a horse that was trying to stalk or put the pressure. That's what he is. He's a stalker. Five needed someone to help him. He was coming off of very nice races. Why do I think this is the same race? 10-21? No, not the same race. Let's see, Kathy got some drinks and kisses over there. Let's see, Attila with the boom, four wins. Does that mean Kathy won? Yeah, I mean, fuck, as soon as you seen the pace, it just felt like that race was over. I'm trying to see if there was any real speed. So I, I would have thought the three would have been the most likely to go. Five, five does what the five did. Five looks like he sits about one length off the lead most, more times than not. He wasn't good enough to keep up or add uh, much of a pace. The exact, uh, you know, this horse is the by far the class horse. I don't think anyone would argue with me that his class is all over the place. That was the second horse. And he doesn't have any speed. I could see him getting beat because of the pace right there. So he ran good. Let's see. Here's another not a heart horse. But by the way, you guys that mark your own forms. You know, a lot of times I know we get so used to every time we keep seeing hearts, thinking that they're speed horses. This is another uh, heart horse that uh, is not a speed horse. Nice race, but he's not a speed horse. So yeah, three three is really the only other speed horse in the race. 
Seven was the favorite. Seven has no speed. Well, I don't know how the seven's the favorite over the uh, the eight. Both of them have the same running styles, and eight's been doing it at such a higher class. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm just surprised the public didn't favor the uh, class. Yeah, the five tried his race. I think the five was put in uncomfortable uh, position uh, trying to, even though the five got really good marks, he's not a true front runner. He's usually, he's usually just sitting off the pace. Five probably would have ran better if he wasn't the one being forced to, uh, probably. I mean, we're just guessing as handicappers. I think five needed the three to do something there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Charles didn't like the five today, so Charles was not fooled by the five. Let's see. Marco Lou moves on to leg two. Attila with a boom. Who else got a boom here? Lloyd with a boom. Posted it before the race. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, Tyler hit a milestone off of that one. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Dude, what? To be a top jockey, you just got to have a giant grin, don't you? I noticed I read and uh, the top jockeys all got crazy grins. Oh, Charles, you didn't like him? because Well, I thought he had an excuse last race. You're talking about why you didn't like the five? I thought, oh. Yeah, I was a little generous with the asterisk. I had a bad rail stalking closing day. He was technically a stalker. I guess I, guess I was a little generous with that asterisk. Bitch ride for a bitch jockey? <laughs> You guys don't let up when you hate a jockey. By the way, four was probably a second classiest horse in the race. He, he ran in a four hundred thousand, a three hundred thousand dollar stakes, a couple hundred and forty thousand beat in allowance races. Which really begs begs the question. I. The horse that they bet, that I'm shocked they bet down to two to one, that he didn't run bad, is kind of the seven. Seven was running in some classy races, dropped down to 45,000. Didn't win that race, even though I thought he ran against the bias there. But most of your people aren't are, are dismissing that race because of that. Because... From my email, no one believes in biases, and I'm a kook. <laughs> and and then he wins next race, dropping to twenty five thousand, and stepping back up in class. I mean, he ran good, but uh, but I'm kind of surprised he was two to one and, and two to one as the chalk, right? <coughs> oh. I'll be right back. I got to go say hi. Oh.
don't be too excited. He just plays. He plays good with those little dogs. Is it Marco's done with Aqueduct? Just concentrating on golf. Yeah, I got I got to decide where I want to be right now. I I uh, haven't had a chance to look at the last two races at Gulfstream, and I got a feeling, fuck it, with Kiki Love uh, winning, I got a feeling I uh, I at least missed one of those two winners. And I don't think the four was the hardest thing to get to either. So. Golf stream is probably more important. Then with uh, Tampa worried about seeing two races go wire to wire, my uh, my instincts are definitely uh, wondering if I want to play that. Uh, let's see, is this the right race? Okay, we got a dirt route race at Gulfstream. I'm, I'm looking at Gulfstream first. Well, we got two scratches there. Man, it is freezing down here today. Gee, I, I don't even feel like I handicapped golf stream today. I got, I got, so, I, I don't think I, I'm not even sure if I played a race at golf stream today. Bentley, we're going to just hang out and smoke cigars all weekend, me and you. All right, golf stream is probably the better spot. Dirt, first six post positions, but really prefer the inside. I know I'm being stupid by just even glancing at this, uh, I, I got to concentrate on the, probably the better track for me right now. I hate it. <coughs> I hate it that they're so close to each other. Let's see. Although they got the two chalks on the inside. Fuck, that makes this race uh, less appealing. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. 25000 so one's or uh, two horses going to be in the one horse. Last three races were at a, a higher level than this. The only time he was at this level, he ran a, de a decent second. Let's see, three races ago, bad rail stalking closing day had the inside match rides with the fastest winner, one tick slower than the fastest winner average. Nice race comes back early pressing day at a at a sprint. Can it get the, came out as a closer, gets a big old asterisk, running against the bias, average, 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 got no problem with that. And then last race, bad rail, early pressing day, was nowhere near the bad rail, but a wrong running style. Could see him closer to the pace with uh, being a sprint to route. Not sure, uh, dude. The inside plays so good. I'm not sure it, uh, in uh, three to one would be a great price uh, on a fair track. Let's see. Two's gonna have the two hole. I mean that he looks like he probably looks like he's the favorite to me. Four stepping up in class, just knowing that he got a ton of races that I can't rate. 
Now, if I do something with the two and the three, the problem is I need the four to uh, do something. Five's going to have speed. Hasn't done anything wrong. First race, fastest winner of the day in his first race of his career. Obviously a nice race. Comes back, goes too fast to win at a cheaper level and drops again and runs a nice average race. I mean, wouldn't it shock me? Lightly raced, but there's a big difference between $25,000, $16,000 claimers and the horses. Uh, even though I know this is a $25,000 tag, both the one and the two, or I'm sorry, both the two and the three, we're at 1x, and there's a big difference, and I don't think both of those horses are off form. And if five wins or comes in second, well, the exacto with the two is probably okay, but it's probably not much with the three. Six is out. Seven's going to be farther on outside. He's another, you know, $25,000. And in fact, he was running for even less. I don't know. I, I feel like it's a reach for him. And everyone outside, I don't want any part of. But I think there's three horses I think got a, a realistic shot. I think the three is fairly legit. I think four is a little interesting just because he has the rail and he's the thing that makes the ticket pay. I'm almost looking at it like it's this. I might be tired and grumpy because I haven't been looking at any good races uh, today. But that's kind of where I'm at. So even though I thought this was going to be a good race, it's not the best betting race. I must be tired and grumpy because I'm actually looking at a pick three, seeing if I can extract anything. Shit, actually there's a couple of horses scratched in the last leg. Sea Trident, who is that, the six? He tried it and the seven horses out. Oh, Malibu, wow. Malibu Seeker got a two. There, it's going to change because of the scratches. They got Malibu. They got the two horse at a 12 to 1 morning line. That race is probably just one, two, three, uh, well, maybe the four. One through four. Probably one through four. The four is quick. Four is eight to one morning line. Let me see if I can build a ticket. Uh, 
Oh, this is getting crap. That's an A. That's a B. That's a C. Who's a favorite? Oh, you know what? One's an A. This is the best part because all of those are D's or greater. Look at that middle leg real quick. Except I gotta get through a turf rush. Oh, we got some nice marked horses next race. Holy shit, we really do. Nice big field there, too. Decent amount of speed. Eight's going to be seven to two. This fucker four is cheap. Well, I mostly like one two in the next race. Let's see, one six to one. Three's four to one. I think it was one, two, three, eight. Who is it? <coughs> Chalk. Look at doubles. I, I might just do doubles right now, but I, I still got the same horses. See, I got to go back to the right race. I am, I am playing something here if I can. Three to one is paying uh, twenty nine to one. Three to two is paying tw or yeah, three to two is paying twelve. I don't want that. Three to three is paying sixteen. I don't want that. And three to the eight is paying six. All right, I want three one. Everything else is crap. Three one, and that double. Two of those horses are all considered to be better. Two I could play to all of those horses. By the way, who is a five? I think I know what I'm doing. If I could play to two to all of those horses. I think I gotta leave the five alone here. Look, I wanted to play Exactus too. No, no. 
Double. Three one is the only a double I can play with the three. Who to the one, two, three, and eight. I take those doubles. And I'm playing a pick three. Singling the two. Two, three, with the two, three, four. Play that, how much? Five dollars, I guess. And then I want a two with the one. With the one, two, oh, did not get that last one in. Two, two, three, two, three, four. And I didn't get to look at any pick threes. And I didn't do anything with the five. I wanted to play exact because I wanted to go everywhere here. All right, that's just my pick three scribble. Holy shit, did you miss the, wait a minute. How did you miss the break that bad? Or did he miss the break? Where? where? What was the two doing at the start of the fucking race? Masturbating? This does not feel good. Come on, two. Two's motoring. I, I don't get what you were doing at the start of the race, but can you fucking win? Because I should have exact as that I decided to play doubles. All right, I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if the two got them. I have no idea what happened to this horse at the start of the gate, if anything. I think. I don't know who won that, but I think the five uh, won that. I think the five won that. I think five won that easy. Oh, I'm not so sure right now. I'm not sure. It's close. I don't know where the three speed was. And I don't know how the, uh, I, the one photo I think I had a chance. The other photo I don't. I, I have no clue right there. And I want to see if Kiki left. She didn't say bye to me. Don't be a dead heat. I, they're not high enough to give me a dead heat. Dead heat just hurt everyone. Declare a winner. I'll take the L. Or the W. 
but declare a winner. We get all the snacks we want, Bentley. No one's going to call us a fat ass. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a food orgy. Mm-hmm, me and you are going to get fat. Let's see, Rick needs to fight. Two got it. Yeah, Andre needed the, uh, what, five? That was close. Oh, it's a dead heat. Everybody's right. Everybody's right. That's a kiss your sister. Ugh. Everybody wants to kiss. No one wants to kiss their sister. Man, I give you a kiss. I give you a kiss, though. All right, that kills everything. Now the problem, I, I wanted to play Exactus. I don't think I could have, though. I, I know I would have had to get either the two or the five to win, and I would have had to beat the three. That happened, but I didn't think that they were uh, three to one and two to one. So there's no, that you know, even without the dead heat. Dead heat is going to make it worth, but if I, if I would have had time to look at those payouts, I couldn't have played them. I'm, I'm scared to look at the doubles I'm alive to. It's going to end up being poopy. But that that's another golf stream race where it's nothing but the inside horses. I mean, it is what it is. I'm wondering if this two missed the break, though. I'm shocked that two being a sprinter was a... I don't know how the hell he's 100 lengths back in a route race. Did, did anyone see if something happened there? Yeah, Lloyd, you're absolutely right. It's a nothing burger. I, I kept saying I wanted to play the exacta, but... Fuck it. I, I did not think though they were at those odds, so. I, I don't think I could have played it. Now, the doubles with the two were playing good. They were all in the mid-20s. Every uh, double that I played, the lowest one was in the mid-20s. But I got to believe with the dead heat, dude, they're probably in the fucking 12s. They they they're probably just cut down to twelve and fifteen dollars or even less. I'm I'm scared to look. I'll I'll be alive to four horses, but I don't know how this could be a profitable wager. Maybe the best one is probably to the one horse. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a two dollar exact a box ends up paying thirteen dollars and forty cents. Oh wait, did I read that? Oh no, they got to pay out two of them. I didn't read it wrong. There was two of them, right? Four two double paid uh twenty four dollars. Oh no, twelve dollars. It's cut in half. Cut in half. And $14 to the five. <laughs> Charles is on fire again today. What's up, Daniel? Austin got a boom, got it both ways. That at least helps. Let's, oh, by the way, what happened at Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay, I didn't even get the handicapped. Uh, two to one, and not much happening there either. Is that sassy like Julia? Ha, ha, ha. 
How did I? I'm just curious how they bet that race. I'm not going to spend that much time. Let's see. The two got scratched. I need to know that. Because otherwise, I'm going to be wondering why this horse didn't hit the board. So I'm a cutie was scratched. Oh, and the nine horse was scratched. I was gonna say why why did the eight run, but he earned it. He's routed the sprint last two races. Nice race, but probably wouldn't have got fooled on him. You know, six horse is just kind of an average horse at this level. Five, uh, I think I bet the five two. Oh, five got second, but what did they bet him to? Oh, he was a favorite. He caught my eye, but that that looks like a race that I couldn't have went anywhere, really. He got nice marks, but route to sprint. He was seventeen to one. All right, I got I got to look at these doubles and probably throw out in my, uh, throw up in my mouth. Charles is grinding it out today. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't got much action going today. He only hit one race. It was a cunt hair from a nice hit with a 19 to 1 instead of. Instead, I got a, the uh, favorite over to 19 to 1. It was close. By the way, I was looking. I didn't see nothing at the gate. I must. I wasn't. I guess I wasn't focused. I have no clue why this two was a. How can a sprinter who's not even a closer as a sprinter be that far back? I mean, I shouldn't, bitch. He technically won the race, but so I guess good ride. I I, I don't know what to think about that. I guess good ride. I mean, he saved me. I would have lost everything. Well, I still might lose everything, actually. Let's see. That's the seventh race, right? The two horse was the sprinter, right? I have no clue. I have no clue why he was that far back. Oh, wow, that's why the five got, they did go a crazy pace. Uh, 23 and one, uh, 45 and two, that's 22 and one around the turn. No, two got out the gate, okay. I, I mean, two got out the gate, he was just that far back. I don't know why. Maybe they decided to rate him or maybe... uh. They thought the pace was good. I, I mean, I, how can I bitch about a bad ride? I mean, I guess he won. Okay, who am I alive to here and how bad is it? How bad is it? One, two, three, eight. I think it's going to be pretty bad. One, to, you know what? This race might not be a bad ra betting race by itself, actually. But let's see how bad these doubles are going to be. No, no. Probables. Real pays. Oh, my God. They're so bad. <laughs> oh, they are so bad. <laughs> they are so bad. All right, 13 to 1, 11 to 1, 7 to 1, and 8 to 1. They're, they're bad, but I, you know, it is a dead heat race. I don't know. All 
Let's see. What did Jay Brum says? I told you why, Paul, in my compliments or comments. What, what were your comments, Jay Brum? I guess I'm going back a far away. I don't see your comments. You see, Jay says both time the jockey rode the two, he was far back. Yeah, like five lengths. I thought he was going to come from like five lengths, maybe, not 20. <laughs> Who wrote him? Uh, is it, isn't uh, this guy known for taking horses back? I think that's his running style. We were talking about jockeys with running styles. Yeah, he did. Five lengths back at a sprint. At a sprint. Five lengths back at a sprint. I mean, you, look, I can't complain. I mean, fuck it. He's, he, he, he got, he, I guess he won. It doesn't feel like a one, <laughs> a win. Let's see, Andre, some of you guys were paying for that dead heat. Ah, I was paying for them just to pick a winner. I would have I would have been more happy if they uh getting decent uh payout or no payout. I I would have been happier not getting half of uh anything. All right, I got some shitty tickets going. <laughs> shitty tickets going. I don't even know if I hit the best one if it covers everything. Oh, that is great. Yeah, that I do. I do know that he's uh, known for taking horses back, right? Although this race might be able to be bet in itself, though. And I think the last race is going to be interesting in Gulfstream. And I think right now I'm probably, I don't think I'm anywhere right now. I think I'm probably with that only uh, exact a hit. And a couple plate, dude, I think my action today has been severely low. One. If the spots aren't there for me, they're not there for me. Uh... Was that still one? Hold up. I lost track. I know two comes after one, but. Yeah, there's a play at Austrian one. We did, we did run in a section of races where we didn't get the handicap golf stream. Or I did it. Yeah, I only played two races at golf stream, and I guess technically I'm alive on one bat. Actually, I'm alive. Wait a minute. Am I alive in the pick three? I'm alive in the pick three, too, I think. So I guess I need two and three here. <coughs> so I only made a uh, bet two races today at golf, but I think I probably played two races today at a, uh, Tampa, but I, 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 I am a kind of leery on Tampa right now. 
Oh, no, I played three races at Tampa today. Yeah, I played three races. So technically, I only played five. I'm, a, I'm alive on a couple tickets. I backdoored it exact up. We got a turf route race here at Tampa. But I, I, I'm kind of, I, I, in a way, I'm a little shy if I want to mess with Tampa. They went wire to wire twice today. Let me, let me see uh, what the odds are of the direction. Maybe I'll let that dictate me. You know, sometimes you think about uh, making adjustment to what you think the bias is. People ask me when I do that, and a lot of times when I'm confused, I'll say, well, I'll go... I'll stick one way if the prices are so much better thinking that they're going to come off the pace or go the other way and make the adjustment if the prices are so much better. I'll have a reason and a base by, can I get a big hit? See, two probably got some speed. I don't think I got all of this marked. Let's see. One, three. One and three would be players coming off the back end. One's trying turf for the first time. I might not want to mess with this race. Stepping up in class. Who's a shot to go wire to wire that I won't have marks on? Hasn't raced since August. I could, could go. Well, we do know at Saratoga that speed was not good on the turf. I got a feeling that could be a really good race. But then he, again, he went to Raceway Park. If that was really a good, or not Raceway, Remington Park. If that was a really good race, he's supposed to kill Remington horses. Three would fit if they're coming off the pace. So would four. Five and six might be front end being a six, five being a sprinter stretching out. The eight horse got fast. Oh, I, uh, no, this is not the horse I'm thinking of, Anvil. He's been going too fast to win, but he dueled with the, uh, No, those are different races. What up? Is there there must be another turf race later because I thought I thought that horse that ran that insane turf time. Is it this one? Of, is it this guy? No. Or maybe I was marking up the weekend's forms. I I mark up so many forms or uh, some of the shit are blending together. So this is $25,000 claimers. Three's a little interesting. And if you like three, you like the four. Both of them are interesting. I'm leaning towards I just watch and see what happens and uh The three, the four, and the uh, eight are all coming out of the same race. Seven's a favorite here. Seven's coming out of that race, too. I don't understand why seven's the favorite. We've seen a couple horses go wire to wire today. Eight had the lead, and he ran against the bias. Seven had the bias in the same race. He did close. He finished five by three, but he wasn't in position at the top of the stretch. I don't have any other excuse. And I think the uh, six is coming out of that same race. He was in better position than the seven. I would like the four. Or, or did I say six? I would like the four. I would upgrade the four over him. And the three... Looks like his running. I, I don't. I don't understand why they're settling on the seven. When the four and the three looks just as good.
and they're, they, they, they look just as good and they're a better price. Seven came from five lengths back, eight lengths back, eight lengths back. He was 23 to one. Like, like no one liked him last race. All of a sudden, why would you like him? What, what, what changed? Just say, I need him at a lower price. Four, four got in position at the top of the stretch. He was he was bet down to a reasonable price. Is that the same race they're coming out of seventh race? Maybe there's a different race. Seventh race, seventh race. No, they're all coming out of the seventh race. I'm not betting this race. I'm not sure what I want to do on the turf. My my thought is to stick with the closers. Give it one more time, even though I've been warned uh, twice that they went wire to wire twice today. So my, my thought would just uh, focus on the three and the four. If I wanted to play for someone to go wire to wire, I think it'd be the eight. So I'm, I'm rooting for the four to three and the eight here. If seven wins, I'm just anti-seven. Oh, and shit, Gulfstream's going off at the same time? Charles doesn't like the seven or eight. Let's see. I probably wasted too much time there. Let's see. Gulfstream, I'd be looking for speed and stalkers. I like the, I'm trying to get alive to the one, two, three, and eight. That's why I got it in the doubles. One, two, three, and eight. Well, I, I probably bet here. One and eight are the fastest, but one's the one that need the lead. I think eight would rate. One ran out of bad rail stock in closing day. Let's see. I need, I probably need two the most. Two gets me there. Two gets me there. Threes, both of them, they're, they're going to be crappy uh, doubles. Probably crappy big threes. Do I want to continue this bet? What is the, what, let me. No, those are, those are, uh, one first with those horses are good. I'm king off the one. Oh yes, what's up? Like the one five six nine over there at Gulfstream. Rick scared of the three. Well, I think I just threw the three in because of class and I wasn't sure what he was. 
to me, I th- when I was when I was looking at the doubles, I thought one was going to be the favorite, one or eight here. Eight ended up being the favorite. I'm hoping one has an advantage. I think one has an advantage being faster early. I'm hoping one gets the same uh, kind of setup as that four did a couple of races ago. In fact, I, I, I keep the one. I'm even tempted to put a win bet on the one. Ah, seven to two. I I I I cash a crappy double. I got a chance. Dude, I should have looked at I should have looked at double payouts real quick. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's the pools? Double. Hold up, I'm sure I'm trying to play through the one through four. Wait a minute, what, what am I double live to? Or pick three, two, three, four, and I like the one, but I don't have the one in that. Uh... Dude, I should have ran another double. I should have, I should, I think this is the double, but I'd have to uh, pick the right horse. Or two. I don't got enough time to check them and make sure. I, I, I'd use one in someone else probably as a key if I played the double, which sucks because I don't have the I don't have the one in the. Uh, I just realized I don't have the one in the pick three. So maybe I want two or three to win. I probably want two to win. If I could get a two, one, or three, one is probably my best outcome. And who the hell is this for getting a nice, easy lead? Who the hell is this for? I think he was like a $6,000 or $12,000 claimer. Men in claiming 12-5. Well, he he uh he broke his ma oh. finger legs bastard. This horse is not supposed to beat me. Two's not gonna run. I think I need this uh three. Come on, three. One, you you can't pass this horse? Oh, two's running. Eh, I got all the fucking horses, but uh, everything's a bad outcome. I'll hit the exact. Uh, I'll hit a crappy, one of the worst doubles I could have hit. I thought one and eight should have been the uh, two bet took most of that. I think I said that. Yeah, a backdoor exact. I don't I don't think anything that great there. For every six bucks I bet I don't even think I checked this exact though. For every six bucks I bet. That takes me out of the pick three. Yeah, it's all right. I'm scared to look at these uh probables. For every six bucks, I bet I get eleven dollars. That's a bad bet. Bad bet. Bad winning bet. And the double I am getting. What was it? Eight dollars. Eight eighty back on the double. So the double would have been paying what? Seventeen something. Eighteen something. 
Definitely not my fi not my finest bo moment uh, betting. Yes, all that for A and B race, right? ABC. That's probably an ABC uh, D finish. Probably would have been. I don't know what made me think to play the pick threes and everything. Well, the pick threes, the odd thing, not the doubles. Beat the A in the first leg, but got a dead heat that was no help to anyone. Whether you were on the five or the two, that we they they needed a clear winner there. I'll hit this, I'll hit this double, but this is crap. And it wasn't, it wasn't even that great to begin with. I think it was going to pay, be a, if, they, if uh, Dead Heat cuts the ticket in half. So it was going to pay 17 and change. It wasn't great. Pick up a. I don't know, pick up 300 bucks there, would have. Instead, you're getting, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually, probably actually winning today a little bit. Well, um, if the eight's going to win, I needed the one to get second to hit the exact, or I needed the two or the three to win. So with the eight winning, there's nothing I could have. Actually, for, I guess it's okay that I, uh, I don't know if the pick three would have been better than hitting the other shit. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, those are bets that I'm not super proud of. <laughs> those are the bets that I said, make sure you're guaranteed to suck as a horse player. <laughs> Charles says, good job. Oh, I know that's got to be a Well, check it. Technically, I hit the double and hit exacta. Technically, <laughs> I I hit them both. <laughs> They're not good bets. I can't say well done. I can't. I can't say well done, Paul. <laughs> hitting a hitting bad tickets actually push you put you behind the game. If, if you're brand new to the channel, at least know that hitting terrible tickets put you behind the game. You're you're better off not making the bet, or you're better off uh, losing. Because all because all you're trying to do is lose less or lose slower long term, and that's a bad position to be in as a better. Polly, aka aka Super Chalk. <laughs> well, you know what? I am doing my job for a fairly chalky day. And a lot of races. So the best two races for me was probably a, the two races that I didn't get a chance to look at. And I can't even guarantee what I would have done on the uh, Kiki horse. I'm actually supposed to be losing today. Uh, because I'm, I'm well, I, I could have hit that uh, 29 to 1 exact or 27 to 1 that I did, and I was a cunt hair for a nice hit if the 19 to 1 would have got up. And I'm really, even without the dead heat, I probably shouldn't have had all four of those horses in the double. And then I really should have checked the payout on the exact, uh, and I will say, wait a minute.
Why did I, th wait a minute, the exact I thought was paying $11. The 8-1 went up to $34. Wait a minute, it's not as bad as I thought. Actually, I'm squeaking away. Nickeling and dime getting bank interest, guys. Why did I think that was paying $11? Did that actually pay 17? Wait a minute, did that pay 17 to 1? Hold up. So I was thinking for every six bucks I bet, I got $11. Actually, it's for every six bucks I bet, I got $17 back. Not great, not as bad. Still sucks, but not as bad. I was thinking I got even money. Basically, what I get? Six, twelve, seventeen dollars $17. I just got under two to one, just under two to one. You don't want you don't want to hit exactus for two to one though. Better than I thought though. <laughs> AB AB player over here, Paul's new nickname. <laughs> Come on, I had one race where I'm a K hair from looking like a brilliant guy again. By the way, I said I needed to look at, I'm curious to see what I, uh, because I'm pretty sure I got the double written down. I'm not alive to the double. I do know that. Now, the problem is I'm not going to have all the payouts. I'm just going to have, a, a, so I won't know what the payouts were to the other horses. I know I couldn't play a $16 ticket there, or I wouldn't have played a $16 base ticket. I want to see if any of those were good to the eight. Because I said I should have looked at doubles, and I'm pretty sure that's the, that will be the double, I think. I don't know if I could have, I don't, I don't think there was any way that I could have did a $16 base ticket to what I think the reward is. The one would have had to be left off with the eight. You know what? The two would have been good. 53 to one, 57 to one to the three and did a four 16 to one. Depending on what the other ones was, I definitely could have had the eight to the two and the three, but not the one and probably not the four. Probably not the four. So if the two and the three wins here, I could have played that double, but I did it. All right. Rick's just got, oh, what, what? Oh, oh, super chalk? Oh, yeah, don't do that's fine. If it feels like it, what's up, Daniel? Three drops in the race at Tampa. Let's see, what do we got at Tampa? Tampa's going in the eighth race, and I don't want to know I have no what car. So I'm not going to be on if, uh, if Gulfstream is over before the ninth race at Tampa, I'm not quitting because I'm pissed. Far from it. But I have no interest in the uh, last race. Uh, it's a turf sprint. And I'm not a media whore where I got to get every minute on uh, YouTube. I, I know some of you guys are going to find that hard to believe. If you're interested, I got some marks on them. Just the 10 got some fast races, but uh, the reason why I'm not interested in a uh, turf sprints over there at Tampa, 
they run less than 30 of them a year. They never run multiple turf uh, sprints on a day. I just don't see enough of them to uh, trust the profile or care. I just don't see enough. That looked like a year layoff right there. This is a nice, what kind of class is this? 16,000, <laughs> 16,000 one act. You know what? I don't think I did a tic-tac-toe board at either race. Track. I'm curious what they uh, did over there at uh, Tampa. At least it seemed like I watched most of Gulfstream races. Let me just see if they did anything on the sprints that might make me interested. 3-1 wire to wire towards the inside. 7-1 wire to wire on the inside, or 7-1 wire to wire from the 7 post. He was a big favorite. Two got second. Actually, that's the eight eight horse here, but he was in the two, uh, seven hole. The nine horse went wire to wire from the eight hole. So we got so far. Speed is just a common th thread. Another favorite. That's right. They started super chalky at Gulfstream today. Six horse stock. So normally I'm looking for speed and stock. It just looks like what I'm normally looking for there. Those are the only uh let's see. So speed and stalker, sixteen thousand dollar claimer. Does me no good to look up November 2021. In fact, if you need to know, I purge my notes. I don't even keep them a year. I mean, he won first time out. He earned a big speed figure if you're into that. Second race, he, uh, he tries a route after pretty long layoff. Well, he's a little interesting at a big price. He does have speed. He went too fast to win last race. Four doesn't look like much. On a three-race uh three, uh, three race win tear, slowest winner of the day, two back. Average, uh, kind of average winner last race. Both of those were at 8,000, so he's, uh, he or she is trying to work their way up in class a little bit. Nothing's wrong with that, but, uh, it is what it is. God, this horse is off a little bit of a layoff from me. Not enough to scare me, but enough to give me a... Oh, he's a favorite. Okay. I might want to look him up. It's, it's not enough to scare me, but it is a little bit to be concerned about. Ooh, six is making a decent drop with really good marks in recent form. Six got me a little excited here. Four races ago, average. Again, starter allowance, 30,000. Those races could be really tough. Three races ago, dueled while matching stride or going too fast to win at the first call, matching strides with the fastest winner at the second call. Nothing's wrong with that. He didn't win in the horse that he was dueling with didn't win because they both went too fast to win. Same thing two races ago. And last race, he went too fast. This is a speed duel. If this, uh, this is a speed burner right here. Got to worry, you know, 
to seven horses, a Thistle Downs horse. Not too concerned about that. If he beats me, he just beats me. Eight probably got some upside on a stalking trip. Three, I still think is three, but uh, three or eight. But eight's, eight, uh, not eight, six is the more interesting. I think six is the better horse. Six been doing it at a better class, been doing it more often, been dueling to submission every time. I'd be shocked if they backed off with the six today, even though they might. I got I got to look up this golf stream horse. I, I I'm definitely playing a bit on the six, now, unless he just ends up being a, the favorite and he he is taking money now. A little tricky. I got bad rail early pressing day, but he was in the four hole. He did go fast. God, I wish that race didn't look good. Son of a bitch. That had to be a good race. Against a higher level, too. That That's actually a good race. Fuck, I wanted that race to be bad. I wanted that race to be bad. Let's see. My horses are... I do like the six the best, but I definitely got to respect the five. Three I'm reaching for, and I think eight's a player, and I'm, I'm ignoring the one. One can beat me, beat me, but I have no idea what he is. What's up, big guy? You look confused. Oh, well, I'm, I'm almost done, Bentley. I'm almost done. We're not even gonna we're not even gonna drag it out. I'm not even gonna stay to watch that turf race. You know, six getting first and second, even with the five, those are still paying 20 something. With the eight, they're paying a uh, mid-20. Wow, they are. Hammering the one horse. They are betting the one horse like he never got a year layoff. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look up that route race. I didn't think I had to, but Ah, it's a one race sample. It doesn't really matter. Oh, that's a year. I'm looking at that like, what the hell is that? I don't want to fuck around in this race. You know what? Let me see the betting on the last race at Gulfstream. That might just. Wait a minute. I like the last race at Gulfstream. That might be a better race. And if I'm looking at both of them, I think I'm going to get a... Uh... I have no bets going. I have no bets going. I really thought this race was nothing but one through four. This is definitely the better race. Let's say the one's been at this level. Gets the rail today. Rail's been really good. Bad rail, early pressing day, average, average, average. I think they even been coming off the pace a couple times. Two races ago, ran on a bad rail. 
asterisk, comes back, inside was good, had the eight hole. And then last race, inside speed, and he won uh, inside speed. By the way, who is this horse that just ran S. Trident on December 17th ran with him? He would have he would have not been inside probably. Okay, C. Trident is out. Oh, no, he was in the two-hole. Yeah, this horse is 7-2. I'm letting Tampa go away. I'm letting Tampa go away. Try, trying to get to 7-2. To Usually, I'm trying to beat 7-2. to I like the two here. Uh, and in a way, I like the two best. He did have to drop to 7,500, but I think he ran against the inside bias two races ago. He was coming from Woodbine, so he was running at higher. He was fastest winner of the day that day. I, I need the two or the three to get second. First, I'm sorry, first or second, not just second. I don't think I can play a one four four one exact. I, th I think this ticket, I, I just got to get one of those price horses getting first or second. Four one is paying 14 to one, four. Well, I could do this. 4-1 is paying 14 to 1. 1-4 one is paying 12 to 1. I guess if I really wanted that exact, uh, I could go 1-4, one 1-4. Four, one four, three and 2. And I'd probably throw the 5 in on the try. I, I could just play try to try to pump up a shitty exacta. Five I don't even like. I'm just using them to pump up crap. Let's see. Eight's going to be in the six hole. So eight gets a little bit more deadly. Eight got some clash. Uh, but it's Parks and uh, nine I don't like. Sorry I got behind on doing the betting boards today, but honestly, a lot of the races today, I don't think it would have made all that much difference. Betting, making making the betting lines would be back on tomorrow. Kind of got some spots where they were too close together, uh, the races too. I think I do all of this. I think I played a two and a three to win. In fact, I think I do one more ticket in case eight gets the lead and get over from the six hole. I want just the two and the three in second. In fact, I'll just throw that here. First and second. But I need the two or the three to get first or second. And then I will do this try, a rare try, if I can get that in. That's just trying to bump up a shitty exacta. And that's straight. This is key boxed. So two and three is definitely my best outcome. What's up, Jay? You could get the pace right today. You you would be dead. Yeah, pace. Fucking yeah. I always say if you don't even if you can't understand the pace in a race, it's a good sign to sit out. 
I think we said I think I said that today and even sat out a race. What's up, John? Come on, bring this two or three. First or second. Okay, four keeps the eight from crossing over. Two and three are in position, but three's going to go the overland route that makes me nervous. And who the hell is this nine? How is this router? Wow, he's showing big speed, this nine. I need the nine to go away. Because I did not like the nine at all. Come on, I need two or three to be someone. One, oh, shit. Threes don't got nothing. I think I'm... Think four, I think this is going to be four or one. I need the five, the two, or the three to get second. Come on, three. Dive through the whale. Dive, dive, dive. Get, 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 get. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We got this, baby. Motherfucker, all I do is win, win, win. Motherfuckers, that all I do is just win. Hopefully that exact is paying good enough to be worth all that. Because I did not know that this four was bet down to eight to five. I thought this was three to one over 16 to one. It might not have been worth that much of a dance. <laughs> it, it might not have been worth that much. Try was hittable, super, everything was hittable there. Charles uh, hit it. Charles hit it with the even mo easy money. Nice call, Charles. Yeah, four, I, I did not realize until after I uh, caught my composure that the four was the late bet down. So you know what? It, it just ended up being on the chalky side. The dead heat hurt. The dead heat obviously hurt. You know, had all the contenders except, you know, I would have had to do a caveman terrible ticket. To, to hit the pick three. If I, if I would have wanted to do it on a single ticket, but I believe that's the wrong way to play pick threes. That would be three by four by four. That's not a good ticket. You know, so I try to pare it down. I try to make sure I don't have an AAA ticket. You know, I, I try to play where the beef is, where I think the beef is. Now, there is no beef when it starts off with a dead heat. Four... I think one, you know, I got to use the morning lines when I'm guessing about who the favorite. I I think the one was the morning line favorite and not the four. I think four was a huge bet down. Yeah, four had an eight to one morning line where I trusted the line maker. He had the one is the three to one. So, yeah. You know, this, this you know, overall isn't bad. You know, but, you know. He, he was an eight to one morning line. I thought he had value. He, he ends up not. Well, yeah, actually, actually, I had an okay day. I mean, a cunt hair with a nineteen to one. This exact, the right? They they could bet the four down, but this exact, it can't be nothing, right? I was thinking this exact was going to pay at least 35 to 1. I, I put it this way. I never even checked the exact to, to be uh, see what they're going to. Oh, Jesus Christ. That can't be right. Oh, that can't be right. Uh, the, the exacta shit. They did bet the exacta down, I guess. 17 to 1 on the exacta. <laughs> that okay that was not worth any kind of a dance that that was that that was even that wasn't even worth a cheer oh my god that's terrible 
That was not worth anything. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take it. That's not. It. Probably should have checked the payouts. When, when you're king off of 16 to ones and 15 to ones, you think you're okay. What did a try pay? Oh, the super paid like shit. I guess no one was fooled here. Yeah, they just got chalky. I mean, it is what it is. I'll I I'll make a little bit, I guess. Jesus Christ. Dude, I thought that was gonna pay 30 to 1 on the uh on the fair side. How much did the try pay? Does does the try even end up being a boom or did the try go to shit too, Charles? Yeah, 19 to 1 on the try or 19 for 50 cents on the try. Ooh, that, not great. Not great. All right. Anyways, I mean, fuck. It is what it is. Actually, it wasn't uh, too bad. Uh, fuck, not great. <laughs> but anyways, guys, take it easy if you guys are playing uh, tonight. Hopefully. Look, I, I, I normally wish good luck. Hopefully, you guys aren't staring at a bunch of freaking chalk. Hopefully, uh, you know, the racing gets a little exciting uh, wherever you're looking at. Yeah, try one to shit, too. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I was excited with the 16 to 1 uh, coming up there. I, Dude, I, 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 didn't, I just didn't think that they were going to bet it down that fast. They did. Dude, I'll be lucky if I make a couple hundred bucks today. I don't even uh, really care to look at it because it's just it just stays in my account until a quarter time to uh, pay. Not not great though. <laughs> it it ends up being a winning day, but nothing great. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Hopefully tomorrow's just a better uh, fucking uh, payoff day. It wasn't a bad handicapping day. I don't I don't know what this. In in a way, it's kind of a weird thing to uh, say anything. I mean, we, we got our shots to fucking hit the board. It seemed like the ticket should have paid better, but it, it didn't. But anyways, guys, take it easy. Good luck, and I uh, hope to see everyone tomorrow.